Jack's biggest TV? It is. Your boy Shark, man. It's cool, boy G. It's your favorite cup in the kitchen. It's your neighbor Osama. Osama back. Cup back. G back. I'm back. Y'all know what to do. Hit subscribe right there. You know what subscribe. I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel, man. That's all y'all got to do, man. You know, shit been very, very lovely this week. Well, first off, I want to say, you know what I'm saying? Revolt World, man. Dope experience this past year. Mm -hmm. Better performance this year. Um, better lineup, I would say, from last year. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I, I I had a pretty decent time, even though my legs was on fire from standing up so much. Boy, what? You know what I'm saying? How y'all guys felt about it? Wow. It was good to me. I'm still goddamn tired. But y'all, man, so goddamn. Y'all won there. They, well, they won there. Y'all was there, so y'all know. But did y'all see that big girl tackle that golf cart, boy? What? Like at, 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 at the end, you know, I got down. We were trying to get on the golf cart, to, so we got to take that walk back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But them folk down there flipped that motherfucker over. <laughs> like, oh yeah, they ball rest. But them folk down have time to look at wrist. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, ball ball but it was dope Damn. time. I want to say better performances though. No, nah, I'm saying better performers, like far as name and stuff. Line. I, I said yeah, better line. Definitely, definitely line up, yeah. Not performers, line. as in like a Luke show. had that motherfucker so, shaking. Yeah, yeah, last year Luke went crazy. Money back. Yeah. Young Miami, yeah. It, 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 it got down. Yeah. I, really didn't think, I really didn't think, you know, I mean, Money Back's a good name. I don't think he went crazy like like Luke and Juvenile. And no, I ain't Preston. say he went crazy like them, but it's like everybody had an exciting performance. Remember, you got to remember that same night, it was that nigga's birthday. That nigga was out there throwing money and shit, boy. Well, money back. Yeah, it was his birthday. It was yeah, on his well, birthday. I, I, I remember remember that, he had the yeah. whole crowd like, man, y'all wish me a motherfucking birthday. I'm here with y'all tonight. Yeah, I remember that. I, I ain't saying he had, I ain't saying he had the best performance. Cap D coming, Cap D coming, all that shit, crazy. man. When Juno yeah. did that better, that's so loud. Anyway, this year, <laughs> Offset, you know, he was he was straight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they had 42 Doug, who was? Uh, Rod Fulton. Mariah Sinus, Freak Thug. Mariah Sinus, she scared to perform or something, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Wow. Yeah, she was. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna tell you. I'm like, I don't, I don't think her like stage she, performance is real good. Yeah, she, I mean, she, she, like got she, a, she got one of them. She got a solid voice though, like a Lil. Yeah, well, at least y'all had a safe experience. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Y'all got that that thing up out of the. But but motherfucker falling out, but. Oh yeah. But but guess what? I guarantee they butt won her when they woke up. God damn. Who butt won her? Shit, they got one day. Y'all was straight. That big homie one down, so y'all Gucci. I go, oh, <laughs> oh, man, I know y'all cut this hey, nigga. Hey, I know my, I, I know my niggas came lost, back. Boy. So, well, y'all want to go into that, man? Y'all want to go into that first? He, 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 he done. We done. He, 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 he done, man. Y'all went to Revolt World. Y'all didn't go to no party, party, man. We can talk about it, man. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. Hey, but we telling y'all right now, today, what's today's date? September 23rd, 2024. Next year, Bad Speakers TV will be doing a live show in front of anybody who attend. If, if they let us. No, 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 no. Get wet. I'm speaking into existence. No, get now, get wet. Hold on, let me please. This is a manifestation look, for look, me. Look, look, that, look, that, look. that was my biggest pet peeve right now. We are working for the position. Other people got worked for their position. And they still trying to promote that shit like we stupid. All right, now y'all keep promoting that code defendant. Y'all want to. Y'all better see what y'all got in front of y'all. Revolt. Mm. Okay. Ka hey, one thing about it. Whoa, what like everybody trying, what you just said. I, I, I hate those crocodile tears, man, when you when you were complicit. I, I remember somebody that, telling somebody, I make you get on all fours and eat it. You know what? They, well, hey, man. And that what y'all promote? Niggas keep going. Y'all ain't even having enough, bro. bro. Well, I, I don't even care about revoke. Get what? My pitch ain't up on that thing. I don't care about revoke. Because <laughs> they ain't helping me. I'm going to get us out of this situation. <laughs> Fuck revoke, nigga. <laughs> Let's keep it funky, man. Y'all know that whole drop a goddamn podcast once a month. It ain't talking about nothing. What about once every three months? Well, once every three months. Okay. And everybody you done interviewed lately is a part of y'all little situation. Rose. Hold on. Like, you think Boosie? Man, yeah, what, what, you yeah, see what Boosie was... tried to defend him? Where Boosie at now? He was at Revolt World Sunday, though. He, he was at Revolt World Sunday? Yeah. yeah he was, was on, 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 on her show, though. But yeah. guess what? He was, hmm. on, he was on her show now. Hmm. She, interviewed, <laughs> she interviewed Boosie now. Hey, man. Folks always say, hey, did you read all the paperwork? <laughs> if you read all the paperwork, any nigga out there defending Puff, you lame, Saudi. Like, you, you lame. If you, if you defending a thousand bottles of baby oil. <laughs> the bottles of baby. That ain't no, no feeling though, bro. No, it ain't no feeling. I'm not saying that it's a feeling. No, I know what he's saying. But you defending a thousand bottles of baby oil. 
No, nah, it, it, no, no. It, I know what you're talking about. It's a lot of, it, bro. It's a lot of celebrities on social media right now. I ain't say who it is because I can't remember. But motherfucker saying, "Oh, I, I didn't know it was a crime to be freaky." But that's, it's a, not. that's but it's not. But that's a good question, though. No, but it's but it's just like you trying to. It's like you trying to goddamn get us away from from what's really going on, though. But what it's like, really well, like you ain't you ain't never said nothing else about the nigga. Now all of a sudden you want to come out and just have your opinion on it. Like I get it, bro. Don't nobody want to see a successful black man with billions or millions of dollars or whatever the fuck they got uh, go go under because they feel like uh, the only way we can make a change if we do something is we have to have. A certain amount in power, but really in reality, all it just takes is us as a whole. You see what I'm saying? But, but what? So, I'm, wait, but what, what I'm saying is though, when this shit first started, y'all, a lot of shit was just nasty. Like it, it was like it, it, it shit was nasty, and shit was like wow and brutal. And then shit was his preference. Like if he gay, it's not illegal. <laughs> You ain't named nothing wrong yet. But, but I'm saying, but his preference would be him being gay or he choosing to sleep with men and women or whatever. I'm not mad at Puff. I, I get what? I don't. If you send Puff to jail, y'all got to go get no motherfuckers too, bro. Y'all can't just send him by himself. No, that's, that's my whole thing. I don't care, bro. If no, you ain't going to lock him up, don't lock him up. But if you do, you got to get them co-conspirators. Y'all is not going to sit here and just lock that one man up for being a, being a but, damn, a, a little freak dog. No, you know what I'm saying? When the other motherfucker was freaking right there with him, but you, and got, to him, you, got, to, you got to say something he did, bro. Yeah, but listen, right, go ahead. Back, back to what you, I'm gonna answer to what you were saying. What, what I'm getting at is, is that, all right, you coming on social media to make a statement saying you didn't know it was a crime uh, to be freaky, right? Or do sexual acts. Mm -hmm. But it's like people getting lost. This shit is beyond that. That ain't how it started off. It started off with domestic violence. Right. That's what most, so it's like, What's your what's your point of coming on social media saying this? Like when that ain't where the issue started from. The issue started from domestic violence on the female, bro. Right. Now yeah. all this other shit coming, but people only want to speak on that. But it's like you forgot about all the other shit. That's not true. No, yeah. I, I think the major. That's not true. I, That's not true. You know what? I'm not this year, but you remember last year at Revolt World, we mm -hmm. went to that, right? Mm -hmm. I believe that was the start, the beginning of the fall of her. Once he started beefing with them local folks. They started picking at every little area. This has been going on a long time. Don't think Puff the only person doing that type of shit. He's just the only person that okay. bucked on the wrong people. I, I, so I, now I, they're I, breaking him down. I, I don't think Puff did nothing. Probably really no different than a lot of these niggas. But he just picked the wrong battle that one time. He sued these motherfuckers. And they showed him, nigga, you can't sue me. That, that, okay, that's what I was going to get to. So, so look, man. Have you seen paperwork? I, I see. I, I see. Some, I see some names in there. That's why I say, man, either some niggas is gonna tell or puff in the tell on them. Because paperwork work on what? Like, on like what's going? What's what we going talking on? about like, right now? Why he keep getting hit, and not? Why, why he, are we like, talking about this shit right now? Like, like his charges. Have you seen what they charging him for? Have you seen what the crimes are? Have anybody here seen this shit? I have. Seen okay, the, so I seen, I seen the video. So one, it didn't. Okay, well, he didn't get charged for that as a crime. Right. Where is it that Cassie have to go? That shit wasn't a crime. The only reason she didn't get charged because she took the money. No, she didn't no, get charged because she filed a civil suit. A civil suit meaning she only they, wants they, money. They couldn't go right. about. Well, that's what I'm saying. There was that's no what, criminal saying, action. Like, no, even if she wouldn't took no money, they couldn't lock him up. They couldn't lock him up for that. The right. ass whooping video is only to make him look bad, bad in, in the, the public eye. Because if he go to a jury trial, they're gonna get most yes. women. Now, women now if you trying and if you trying to judge him from the the the, the, the what is it the the, the, the eyes of, of the media through the, through the yeah, eyes yeah, of the, yeah, like yeah. That. public you know public, public perception. perception yeah then okay then, then, he, then he should be in jail for that that's cool but he didn't get charged for that this nigga getting charged for technically flying bitches flying bitches in and then leaving money on the fucking dresser. That we getting charged for? Shit that shit that I know you. If you ever went and drove a bitch over across state lines, or just say you go to went to Alabama okay. and you brought her back over here, mm -hmm. and then when she left, you gave her some money. That's trafficking, G. That's under That's the umbrella. Under the umbrella of trafficking. trafficking. If that bitch later on down the road and you get rich, decide to say that you 
you know, was sex trafficking her because she just wanted to get a quick little bit of money or she wanted to just sit up and say, hey, you know, he, I, I, I was against my will, so I had no choice because I was at his place and I had to get some money. That's what this nigga being charged for. Once again, just come back to last week with the Shay Shay shit. We sitting up here letting the media uh, fix Tell the way we look at our niggas. Hugh yeah. Hefner been fucking motherfuckers up there at the Hugh Hefner Palace for fucking years, bro. Shout out to goddamn Dr. Umar Fact. for bringing that shit up. There been the Ain't nobody said nothing right. about him freaking hoes and they can't go home. Got him dressed like bunnies and maids. Yeah. Librarians. But was he? But was he? But was he trying to hide what he do? He had a show on it. Did, did he try to hide what he do? Did nobody know what he was doing till now? They talk about it all the time. Where the fuck the, the, uh, the allegation did the party came from? Like he threw parties. It going right. down. What you mean nobody knows? But no, but, 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 even, but, even if that's what true, I'm even, I'm even, I'm wait, 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 even if, if, even yeah. if that's true, if right. grown people going to his party, what a crime at? So, so what did that mean then? It, it, guess what? It's only because he's a rich motherfucker, and I agree with what Split Skeet said. He, he went after them liquor people. Even 50 Cent said it. If he would have never went after them liquor people, this shit would have never happened probably. 50 Cent said that. Oh, right? man, you know what I swear 50 Cent said it on stage. Yeah, he was like, man, this, and he hates Diddy. He hates Diddy. Y'all know this, right? Yeah, right? He said if he would have never went after them liquor people, half of this shit probably would have never happened. The charge he being trapped... Look, first of all, we got to get something understood. If, do, do you believe the law is the law, or do you believe laws are made to keep motherfuckers down? Because technically, laws are only made for the government to make money. Yeah. That's just what it is. Now, if you got your mental mindset that, oh, he, he broke the law, he should be going to jail, then okay, that's fine. Because the only difference between prostitution and goddamn and, 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 and making a porn video is LLC. Yep. So, mm -hmm. so this man taking take women that legally want to go to his place, right? They legally want to go to his place, and then later on they sit up and say, "Oh, well, I didn't want to be there, or this and that." Thirty years no, later, twenty they? years later, from nineteen ninety four, you know what they bitch? need to go do then? Well, the American need to go out lock up everybody in Dubai who, who do doing on women, do everything. Like, but, what is we talking about? Right but, now? This, but, that's my, but that's what my whole point was earlier. I ain't all like, part of a lot of the shit is. is I don't think she's going to jail. A lot of the shit is just shocking now, and, and nasty. That's like, all it is. Like, like, bro, when have you ever been raided and they name something like that? Yeah. Like, bro, if they if they throw out a number, your ass is fucked. Most of the shit. If is... they say, "G got caught with six on them," it gonna be. Pounds, scales, like they ain't that nigga ain't never counted but how many I, bottles of baby oil you got. But, but listen, we don't seen this before. That's to make him look bad. It's just to that's make him literally. It, it, it makes you shit. think, oh that nigga nasty, that nigga nasty, right? nasty bro. Now, but, 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 but like I say, we don't gonna, we don't seen this before, so it's like what, what, who? No, 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 like you said, even a, a day earlier, what however it was, it's like they gotta have something. And then to deny a bun, they gotta have the something. The law is only made to get whoever they want to, bro. That's just, that's just what it is. Dude. The only thing that could be You can go to jail right now. I'm a one time, bro, I swear to God. I had did a hit and run in Atlanta, Georgia, right? I, uh, so they didn't have nothing on me, right? I went to the, I went to the, the they, they called me and said, we need you to come on down here so we could talk to you to this and that, all sort of shit. I was working for a company where I did it at. Get down there. These folks literally tell me, so they trying to bait me into admitting what I did. They said, I could take you to jail right now for driving with hazardous tires. It's a law for everything, bro. Oh, yeah. It definitely it's is. A, I was like, you can do I asked her, I said, yeah, I can do that shit. He said, right now. I said, because your tires slick on your car, I could take you to jail for that. Bro, like I just said a second ago, don't get caught up in what the law say. Because the law don't, because the law don't mean it's right. Nigga, say, for, my whole, for our whole life, we been making mad, beat up motherfuckers if you smoke it. You become angry, you become aggressive. Yep. We we we, we grown way. ass niggas now. Yeah. And guess what we did? Legal. Legal now. But guess what? As kids, they tell them this shit to make us think like, yeah, yeah we, we the super, They didn't know how to tax it yet. I don't even smoke, but I ain't never condemn none of y'all for doing it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. My mama smoked. My brother smoked. Don't act like the law is what it is because it's wrong or right. It, the law ain't got shit to do with wrong or right. Yeah, the, law, the law has to do with what they can make money off of. The feds can pick you up for anything. If Diddy was broke, would they would have came and got him? Nope. Oh, and what I tell you the last time, they just waited till his money got low. They just low waited until his money got low. That's all it was. That's it. The, these charges, I sent y'all the charges. A lot of these racketeers is basically a Rico. Kidnapping is that's gonna be determined on what bitch decide to tell them. Yeah. Mm. And see, that's why I say I don't feel like no bitch can say he kidnapped him. Now, what I feel like that could be said, don't but you can really just lock this nigga up for some some crazy shit. You gotta say this man will mess with children or some see, shit. That's like what that. I was looking for. Now, if you ain't get, if that don't like be shit like that, now, 
I'm not gonna say he was. Cause I didn't read all the way the part that I think. I, Cause I gotta, I gotta verify what the fuck I've been reading before I just go out, go out that window. Oh, but I've heard shit, but I'm not verifying that shit. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. I, I gotta see that. that part. Cause that's criminal. Now I, I can see it. But you grown freaky motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm saying the, the difference. The difference you don't need between no Yahoo, eh? the difference between <laughs> this shit and like R. Kelly shit. And when you heard R. Kelly shit, you knew. Oh, that nigga done fucked up. Fuck but but Robert gone, but Robert out there picking up shit. Like when you heard it off top, you could name, you could freestyle two felonies. He done did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, bro? You you got to find a way to okay. Now what what that shit wrong did, but yeah. you know you you know it looked it bad. It looked bad yeah. as fuck. But then you got to sit down and think about okay. Now what the fuck did the man really do? And if flying bitches in, and because she get a because he gives her some money to leave. That's trafficking because uh -huh. later on she could sit up and say, I only went there because he was paying me. Yeah, and then really? guess what though? But did we agree to this shit? Fact, but guess what though? This, I, I, I found out, right? Even if you don't physically give her cash, they can charge you with that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you rich as fuck and you, and you fly a bitch in and you take her shopping yep. or you buy her something on the trip, she can say, that was the, I came to get the bag, that bag. He said he going to buy me a little ton purse. We went shopping and he bought me one. You still fucked. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, damn. We, we've been mind no. fucked. So we've been a little bit. Go ahead. Just, just think about that. that. How we always talk about, man, these young niggas always telling on they say, they always got to go live or do this. All these old fuckers that sit here recording, they sell VHS and like a motherfucker. A lot of this shit come from these motherfuckers done seen footage of the game. Oh, yeah. That's, that's how a lot of them come out in court now. Oh, yeah. Come out in court, man. Like, Together, and that's what I'm waiting to That's what the crazy part. Y'all niggas supposed to be older and smart. Why is. Like, I see now, everything got that way been recorded. No, 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 no oh, wait a minute. Like, I say, like, you know, then you say Hugh Hefner used to record <laughs> folks at the Playboy Mansion. Oh, oh, hold on now. We're going to record this footage now. But I'm saying, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, but, look, 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 look. But look. <laughs> hey. But look. Look how the Here we. Hey. Record the footage. But look how the footage is coming back. Okay, you got to be playing the right game. How about that? Yeah, I, I agree with what you're saying. Now, now, if you're playing the wrong you're game, now you can't be recording the game. Like some of these niggas were playing street ball. You can't be playing street ball. <laughs> yeah, this shit gotta be organized and sanctioned. <laughs> 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 these niggas out here playing niggas street ball. Niggas ain't giving a fuck. They're playing and one. <laughs> now what I'm saying is though, I say this. Did it have enough time to get rid of that footage too now? Because he was walking around. When I, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Before the raid came, he knew they were coming. Oh, and, no, and then his son goofed back on make that goddamn saw. Ty, you should have checked the other house next door. And then they did. You dumb fucker. Yeah. yeah. Like, man, I, I, I'm sick of these, these fuck niggas, man. Let another nigga get that bad, man. Nah, bro, bro, I ain't, I ain't no, no huge Diddy fan like that or none of that. But, bro, I told y'all, man, a lot of this shit, they just coming for. Man, come on, man. man 30 I, I, years ain't nothing happened. Look, All of a sudden, the feds, yeah. Y'all been doing this shit going on. I bro. don't care about his zesty ass or none of that shit. Unless he mess with some children, that's when I'm going to say, okay, lock his ass up. But yeah. nigga, if he just a real child, crime, man, though. yeah, yeah, a real like crime. yeah, a real crime. Like, but if he just busting up these grown freaky motherfucker, man, go to hell. I don't give a damn. Tell y'all something now. If it come down that he did that shit and all that shit unfold and did, did that boy, did a dumb motherfucker. Boy. I would have left. I would love my ch children. Like Russell, all, like Russell, uh, see? Boy, yeah, I would love yeah. chilling. Now I would tell you all, this. Boy. I've been reading somebody's, a uh, certain somebody's supposed memoirs. I don't know if it, and I don't know if it's actual factual. But if the shit I've been reading is actual factual. Man, this we thought Shug Knight was the realest nigga out here. No, niggas better be scared of Puff Diddy. Puff Diddy. Puff Diddy. I never call that nigga that. No, no. Let, let me get. Let, let me say this now before people get our soliloquies fucked up. I don't think he's getting out of jail. I think he's not gonna see the light of day ever again. You think they gonna? You think gonna lock him up? Yeah. They gonna life? find. They gonna find something. Yeah. They gonna yeah, find something. He's going away for life. Well, I mean, his charges are life. Yeah, he had guns. Racketeering. That's life, bro. I'm looking at it right now. Sex trafficking, minimum 15 years prison term. Especially if he made Transportation for prostitution, maximum 10 years. any of it. Yeah. Like, I think he's going to get, I think he's not going to see the light of day. I really do. I just, I just, that is my personal opinion. I'm not sitting up here, but that don't mean that, I'm not sitting up here saying the man was guilty. No, nah, he went, he ain't guilty. But I don't think he's going to see the light of day ever again. If he do beat it, I'm going to be the first nigga in here jumping around like, boy, that nigga beat that shit. Because I, I, I'm looking at this shit. Like I'm looking at the charges. I'm look. I understand life. I understand how laws work. Why laws are made. Just just years ago, it was a woman having an abortion. 
Why yeah. the fuck they changed that shit for? When back in the day, it used to be she shouldn't have an abortion. That's why Roe versus Wade happened. And then they changed it. But now this shit, they changed it. Because goddamn, the politicians realized in 20 years from now that they're not going to be the majority no more. And they want to keep women having kids so they can stay the majority. Because they're going to end up being a minority by so many damn Latinos and blacks being mm. born every fucking day. We, we have more kids, black people, than white people, two to one. I so guess what it. that means? A Republican will never win again. If it keep going in that rate for the next 20 years. So you know what they try to set up and say? Because they know people is stupid. Hey, I think it's fucked up for everybody, for a woman to have an abortion. She should, she like, uh, 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 a living cell is a living body. A you should, yeah. No, no, it's a, no, y'all didn't say that shit years ago. Now you want to change it. Laws is only created for the government to make money, period. And so it can't be anarchy. But the things that he did is fucking, is by basically fucking and flying bitches. In. Well, if you rich, what the, how is she going to get pussy? Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I'm trying to understand. America is about economics, yeah. not ethics. Now, motherfuckers simply say, "Well, <laughs> motherfuckers simply say, well, he been charged for kidnapping and this and that." Guess what? Kidnapping can only be formed by motherfuckers willing to say that you kidnapped them. That's just it. And understand, kidnapping is when you grab somebody and move them forcefully by ten or more feet or some shit like that. This and that. How the fuck is that kidnapping that they flew to him? But they say did it out there on that white van on them whole Man, boy. come on, man. This did, shit is did it stupid. jumping out at the park, snatching up yeah. grown women. Like, like, bro, I've been looking at this shit all week. Like, damn, what they really got on him? Because I thought, Bo- you go check my Facebook. I said, I said, Boosie fucking tripping. That nigga did this and that. Nigga mm-hmm. going to jail. Then I started reading. I took that shit down. I said, oh, hold on now. So I don't want you to think I just... I was on that same page. Yeah, like, did it was I, I, going, I, I, did yeah. that nigga going to jail. Then I started looking at this. I said, hold on, wait a minute. They, they, you know, now that he done got locked up, they done put the paperwork out there. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, oh, this nigga, so flying a bitch out and giving her some money to leave? I ain't even gonna lie. It's, 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 it's trafficking? Man, it just hurt me. Because she, cause she went, I'm a bad scam, I'm cut you off. Because she skipped over a, a imaginary state line? Yeah. What? He, he saw a bad bitch in Idaho and told her to fly her ass to Miami. <laughs> but guess what? The feds create that. So they can get anybody that's rich for something. For something. They, they make up. laws to get anybody for something, bro. And then on a smaller scale, y'all, that, that's simple as if you cross a county line. Traffic. Why you pick a bitch up from Lennon Mall right now and bring her back to the house, G, by your ad doing that. <laughs> <laughs> if, she choose, yeah. if she choose to go that now. Ball, no, a bit it's, land at the airport, you go get her. It's, no, it. it's no different what we were talking That's about crazy. how, it's no different about how we were talking about how they make black men and black women go at it nowadays or pit, mm-hmm. pit us against each other, right? And the laws are set up that way too. Hey, you can get paid if you just say this about this man. And you already hate them. And you already hate them. You anyway. already they usually you by your them. emotions. Same way with divorces. Same way with goddamn marriage. It ain't no money in the, it ain't no money in the marriage. It's money in the divorce. Because they're going to use your emotions yeah. to get whatever you can out this nigga. Same way with the laws and shit. Hey. Hey, hey, you hey you man. You got to pay to get with somebody. That's why you got to pay not, to break up with them. You're not going to hear me say nothing about Puff going to jail unless they, they talking about like, oh, he did something to a kid. I, I, yeah. I feel like, shit. If I was, so if he was just so bad and all of this, which I'm not saying he was a, like a great person because I don't know, but if, if everything was so fucking bad, nigga, why y'all ain't been told on this nigga? But you know, and not even that, those certain people that were telling on him, why y'all didn't have the balls to say, well, nah, they're not lying. They tell him the tr- this and person telling the truth. And you know the liquor folks got something to do with that shit. But that's I, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So that's how when the. How we just like overly but going on Puff? And women no. defense though. We, we knew Puff was a bust from from the jump. But hell, now Hold on. The, ain't nobody stopping the media from pushing the issue. Like nobody, like how he act, like those people that that he tried to go against. Those were the people that could spend that money and hey, to get that took down, get that took down, get that took down. Like they could, they can do get it. The in media, the like yeah. keep their image clean. Once once that shot, shit start happening. Now you hear all the Jaguar rights. You're going to hear all that shit over and over. I've seen her. But, and she been saying that for the longest. You see Gene, Gene Dill been saying this shit for the Gene longest. Gene been saying this shit about three, four, five years on Man, for the longest. But now. Black, he been putting it out though. Man. It's he like, ain't nobody, oh, Puff, he, he really in trouble now. So ain't nobody scared. They land to go. Man, ain't nobody going to say. The, I'm going to tell you the first time. Any regular nigga should have felt that shit. When they saw him at goddamn Fabulous Ass. Man, why you going to party with me, man? <laughs> Yeah. Like you know what? Like, why you don't party party? That's the first time when niggas should have known. Like, oh no, nah. 
Cub with that other shit. <laughs> right then and there, it, it was understood. Yeah, ain't that shit, no more conversation yeah, about shit, that. Shit, it kind of, it was like, mm. that nigga say, I love it when you shaking and moving like, like that, daddy. daddy. I said, wait a minute, what? what? Look, yeah, like, it was like, like Kishner seen that side before, so he knew how to laugh it off. Yeah. But Fab was like, Fab like, <laughs> man, don't. Like, that nigga, I'm on bang on that nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything doesn't start on street, fam. Nigga, he about to go yeah. in. Right. That, nigga, we saw it then. We, the more Paul can't drink. Nigga, you trying to take a skirt off of a, a real rude boy roster, nigga? He supposed to slap your ass the fuck out. Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I agree, man. I, 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 bro, this shit just... Man, man, I'm just saying, like, sometimes you just got to look at it deeper than, than what it is. on. Because soon as the media say something... By how we was brought up, we automatic bro. Since we started school, remember school? They teach you the first things off top, colors. You know what I'm saying? Shapes and shit. No, and second, second, you know, kindergarten, first mm -hmm. grade, they start teaching you about laws and this and that and all this other shit. So since we you know, dare program about the fifth grade, you see what I'm saying? And they start telling you how you know you gotta abide by the law. If you yeah. don't do, if you don't do right by the law, to this and that. So you've been thinking this shit your whole life. Like if it's if it's the law, then it's wrong. You see what I'm saying? No, motherfucker, I'm smart. I know what the hell these laws are for. You know what I'm saying? Now the drug shit different. Now, if they charge him about some drug shit, okay, you got me. No, the same shit. Shit about drugs. If, if they caught, did it with that pink dust and shit in there before he had got, you know what I'm saying, whatever, the raid came and shit like that, okay, cool. You're going to get charged for your drugs. That's what anybody gets charged for. But these laws that they make up saying that a man can't fly a woman out and I'm fucking rich, and, and they calling this shit trafficking? What? I just think that that right there, yes, that's tough, y'all. I what? feel like they, 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 they say trafficking, trafficking that way. Yeah, yeah like I don't, they, they, man. I don't oh, think they just say because he flew him out and he paid him. I feel like they say because he flew him out and he's getting paid too. Like, he basically pipping around the world, man. No, no, no. no. I feel like no, it, it got to be some money. That, that, be, that might be enough too. But I'm talking about the charges that I read. Yeah, I know what I girl said that like she was paying. flown out there. And then he, then when she came out there, she gave him gave her some money. Then she left and went back. But she was trying to say that she didn't want to go or something like that. But she willingly went and got on the plane. And they said, due to that law, when you fly over state lines to have sex for money, that's trafficking. He's being charged with that three times. Mm. Nigga, no, Ski. No, nah, that ain't right. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. If not, if... That that situation, what you saying? That could be true too. And like, I say shit. Okay, I, like, I, I say some shit like that. He like shit. He gonna he gonna set all them hoes out in Daddy Danny the King boy. Gonna get them all geeked up and set, set them out. <laughs> but, but see, but I, that, I, see, that's what that. But that was what I was talking about. Like, like they, they got that, they got to say more. Yeah, that, I need more than that. Has. That situation needs to be expanded. Yeah, that like, shit ain't like, no law break. Okay, he flew her contract. out and what? I he gave made, a hundred. Fuck everybody. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they get to court, which we know gonna happen, it gonna get more detail and what actually yeah. fucking happened. But hey, guys, we're speaking on this early, guys. Yeah, we're speaking yeah. On this early. But, but I'm just saying. But if, if if that's it, he flew out, fucked up, and he was done with it, baby. He go on five p, baby. Find your way back to the airport. It's just time for you to go. Now, now that now, and what I'm saying is that traffic and shit. That is the law for it. Flying over a state line and being paid for sexual whatever favors. Only thing a woman got to do is say that she didn't want to do it. Now you sex trafficking. But how? Oh, so what I heard saying she didn't want to do it. It's all about what she wants to say for a payday. That's 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 not cool then. Cause let me tell you that's what. That that ain't cool cool they all, man, they, that shit is going on in Dubai. They all are. They're going at all times. They're taking their that's ass what I'm over there to at all times. So you, you, how you, how can y'all do that? So certain y'all cannot lock Diddy up for that. Cer certain, I, I'm so sorry. Cer certain people of look, man. I, I, I've always said this. Certain people about superstars. I'm gonna keep it real with. We talked about R. Kelly. I ain't let y'all have that shit. Uh, R. Kelly was fucking children. I yeah, want, exactly. I want his shit yeah. by no parents. I don't want his shit by nothing. I call it like it is. But with that shit with Diddy and some of our superstars and shit like that, man, we got, we got, man, we, come on, man. Like we got to look at this shit deeper than oh he broke. But they had face value like, when they tell you. Yeah. I will overly try to research it yeah, if yeah, I can. Yeah. Like 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 some of our super, like yeah, R. Kelly was sick. You know what I'm saying? For for fucking fourteen year olds and getting married to a damn fourteen year old. That just yeah, really was. Yeah, bro, and that yeah. alone, fuck the rest of them kids. Yeah. Not literally, but. Dead alone with a Yeah. You should be in jail. Yeah. Plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense? Yeah. But this yeah. shit with Diddy is a little. Now, like I say, we're gonna talk about this for weeks coming, because obviously the trial gonna start probably next year, year after some shit like that. But it's so much that I really wanna say, but I don't wanna say. I wanna and I'm finna, and we're gonna follow this one, y'all. 
But we're gonna follow this. Let's, 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 we gotta pick one of these months. We should have followed. We should we should have tapped in on the thug. We should have followed thug all yeah, the way yeah, through. Yeah, we should have been like more inside yeah. on, on, on I'm gonna get that laptop too, Sean. Shit, look up. Cool. I'm, I'm telling y'all. Look cool. up. But we we're we gonna follow this. We got to follow this because y'all, I don't want y'all to say free me. Y'all already told me I can't go somewhere and have a threesome. And now y'all telling me that <laughs> once, once the bad drop, I can, shit. I, I got a list of bitches I've been thinking about flying to me. <laughs> I got that check. Nigga got to start just flying themselves out. Going over there, handling your business, leading money. Oh, no, we don't play, we don't play a wager. Oh, man. no, but hey, man. I ain't playing a wager. I'm, not gonna, hey, man. I'm rich. I'm going to a bitch. Oh, no. Shout out to Rallo Rodriguez. Well, well she's man. still technically going to come to him because wherever you fly, you just get a room for wherever you at mm-hmm. and tell her to come to the room. You only get rich. Instead of bringing motherfuckers oh. to your actual home. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to tell yeah, you why. You, right. you get rich for convenience. Yeah. Plain and simple. Ooh. I'm not flying to no damn body. If I'm damn, rich, hell, bitch, you man. come to me. If I'm rich, if you're paying a motherfucker five racks, bro. You pay a motherfucker five racks to come see you, right? I mean, it ain't gonna hurt to pay extra little three, four hundred dollars to fly over there and fly back. You gonna pay a five racks paying? when you get over there? What you mean? It don't no, matter. that's she getting five. You for money anyway. You heard the major mind. She getting a five. She five. five. What you mean? You you only the, the reason motherfuckers get rich is for convenience. The reason why certain niggas don't do the reason why niggas have a rider on they got them contracts and shit is for convenience. Hey man, I need a, a bowl full of number orange motherfucking M and M's, man. When I get there. 14 bottles. <laughs> I need uh, 13 bottles of, 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 of uh, water because of convenience. You see what I'm saying? You get rich so you don't have to do shit. Hey, I'm going to go to send you this and that, fly you out here. You want to sit at home on your ass and she'll come to you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not going to move like that for some bitch I just want to fuck. These niggas ain't either. Hey, look. That's why they fly them out there. Hey, you remember when we were like, back in the band zone? He told the nigga, shit, I wish I could just sit at home all day, eat a turkey sandwich, to have sex all day. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga really was doing that shit. Who said that? Did he say that? Did he say that? Did he say that? He said that. He said I just want a turkey sandwich and be able to fuck, fuck all bitch day. All day. God damn, no, did he was really hey, living man. that life, cuz? <laughs> that fucked up, man. I, I, hey, man, I just hope that ain't, it got to be it. I hope it, I, you know, for you know, sake of the woman, I hope he didn't do it. But if he did, he deserves to go down. See, but see, I just got to hear more information before and, I just and, say And trust me, my, my opinion can change going into that shit. Like, I don't never hesitate to change my opinion. I don't stick, stay stuck one way. Because they going to play footage. If they oh, got yeah. footage of the game, they're going to play footage. They, if they're going to, look, and this is another thing. When they start playing footage, I don't give a fuck if he pissing on hoes. I don't give a fuck if he's slapping bitches in the footage. I don't give a fuck if he punching bitches in the footage. After they get finished and they act like they cool with it, that is not a crime. Because they was with see, the plays. See, guess what? I ain't even going to lie. I don't feel like Diddy took no ass for none of these hoes. No. I'm not worried about the hoes. I'm worried Notice about... Notice that rape I, is look, not one of the charges. Look, mm. I, I'm worried. You know what, I, what I'm concerned about? Who them boy they going to be busting him down? See, that, 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 that's the environment right now. I ain't... A, Nigga ain't got no reason being bad about fucking on, on a whole bunch of hoes. The only thing he was paying to keep quiet about the niggas he was fucking. That's what you. That's that's the only thing. Yeah. I was, why, why I'm gonna pay you to say? But the rumor, I, I, I'm, I'm fucking a lot of bitches. The I'm rumor was he liked to watch that. though. Hmm. That, I think I seen one rumor that said that he liked to watch. Now it's been a couple of rumors he was like he he made yeah, one do girl, it all. He made one girl man suck his dick now. What what what, what made her man? Again, he made he made because he told one of them people that there's nothing more powerful than, than making a <laughs> nigga suck your dick. Suck your dick, yeah, that's what the paperwork. He made and he made this girl that he was fucking her nigga suck his dick in front of her. So look, now this is about that book Paul, already. Paul, 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 we don't know Paul. Hey, Paul allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly, ain't trying to get out, suit. allegedly in this book I'm reading. So then you know what I'm saying. Yep. They say they say pub getting beat down, man. Mm-hmm. By some of your some. And then, they call it. They and call you know it. I hurt my heart. My friend got who X X X was. That nigga said no, that. No. Well, okay. I'm not. We gonna that gonna sit on camera. Yes, and we gonna get on. The, <laughs> but man, it hurt my heart, boy. It's so over me to sit here and say this shit. I need. I gotta see. Yeah. I gotta see the other shit. I ain't stunned by these little yeah, freaky hoes. I don't know what. Yeah, they ain't gonna do like, anything yeah. for a check, but this shit with these niggas is different. Yeah. I need to know your they, motivation. They, they say they say he was a bottom too. Now, like they call it a bottom in a book, meaning like he like to get fucked. Pause. 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 What the fuck? Pause. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the One thing about but I'm, you, not, but I'm not going to come in here and not talk about what I know. But I'm saying, but you just. I'm, I'm always. Nah, he said what? 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 He
<laughs> well, look, no. And, and, and you see how I feel? We were just hitting on the day. You yeah. like, man, we got quick quick. And I was like. Well, that shit is wild. <laughs> that, he, he was, was a red son. He, he got embarrassed at the table. He was a skeet. You know what I'm telling you, no skeet. Like, man, have you heard that before? Be, I don't be trying I to go hard on this. I just be paused. But I'm just saying, like. Like I don't like like bro. I, just I don't get I mean. don't get caught up in. Yeah. The, 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 what do y'all think this child? Now is look, fun? see, Claire don't get caught up in the propaganda, but she know with me. I only got to take it at one zesty maneuver. It, it might not be the, uh, a super zesty maneuver to something. <laughs> super to zesty maneuver. But I see the right shit. When do y'all think this oh, child? No, that's you, boy. It's a federal case. It'll be over a year before it starts. Man, it's gonna be. So you think they're gonna hold him for a year too, right? They ain't got no choice. Right. They, they, they you, can't, you can't get a buzz. You can't get a buzz. Okay, okay, he okay. offered the highest bill, I think, in U.S. history, 50 million, I think. Yeah. Well, no contact with watching. females. No, he never said no contact with men. What you What you said? Nigga, skeet. But I ain't no hurt. But I get what you saying. Somebody bro. said, but you just said that man was a bottom. He is. <laughs> I mean, he, but allegedly, that's what it was. That's what I saw. Come on, man. I can't get mad. Like, that's you don't start saying that. Ain't never heard that, 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 that term. Hey, man. man if that, but look, though. If that book ain't right. What the fuck? Tell me that nigga ain't no real street nigga. <laughs> that nigga a real Omar out here. Right. What you mean? He, he making niggas. He making niggas. Right, he making motherfucker disappear. He cuffing these hoes. He don't even really like these hoes, but he cuffing these hoes. And he get, bottom. And he get pounded out. <laughs> How you do all of that? Balls, B. Balls, B. Balls. Like, this nigga sending hits. Getting hit, hit, <laughs> hit <laughs> man, like, no. man, that nigga got, hey, man, that nigga might be the hardest working man in showbiz. The hardest working man in showbiz. This nigga said he's sitting here, sitting here, getting hit. What the fuck? But y'all is going to But you tell the truth, though. Like, 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 but I see. Man, revolt, y'all better cut that chat, but I'm going to bless, I'm going to bless, I'm going to bless y'all. Oh, let's let, hold on. Remember Cat Williams 2.0? I, I, I want to say Cat, this. Oh, Cat said this at the beginning of the year. Cat, you got to look, tell. I, I wanna say, let me go back to that. Let me go back. Let me go back to that. Now, uh, now, now hold, on, hold on, hold on, real quick, real quick. <laughs> no, not on uh, Cat shit because me and you had went back and forth on Cat a little bit too. Hey man, about ninety five percent of what Cat was saying right now. And you, and you see, I, I, you can say, you just be ready to believe us. No, 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 not that part. I just said the four, the four, four, four that was like we knew that shit was a cap, no, no, motherfucker. Oh, no, no. like like that part. Now that the the, the the he said you got to tell Diddy no sometime and all that shit. That shit starting to make a lot of sense now. Like like that shit started. They he, they, they give everybody the same type of girlfriend, light skinned and and, and got them a made up face. Whatever the fuck he was saying. Hey man. Cat was kind of he was kind of preaching on them folk now, you know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, look, man, that this Diddy shit, I think this is gonna, this, this is what I'm gonna say about it. It's gonna break down the old Hollywood. It's gonna break down the whole Hollywood, and I think the old Hollywood, not not the whole it, the, that old regime, those gatekeepers, they're out the way. It's about to be some new shit going and, on. And I think it's gonna be the wildest trial in history. If they call to the stand all the people they need to call to the stand, this trial is gonna be the wildest shit. We've and ever that's what's gonna seen. kill. Yeah. But if some of these names that I, you know, off camera, I mean, no, I off camera, don't say, don't, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. I know, I know everybody you know right now. Yeah, I but know. but just but some of the part, I, I ain't gonna, one person. I, I just hope that for for God's sake, it's, it's not who I think it is. For some reason, I, I, I thought what you're talking about. Say the first one. Yes. No. The one, the one I said, I, I hope it ain't. Yeah, I don't think. I don't, no, that might be true though. How they put it in the book. Uh, yeah, how, how that shit would work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, that that shit didn't make sense all it the made, way It makes sense because I was and like. The, 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 the lineup, it all right. And get what? She she well, dropped off the part. Y'all got well, he was dating. Look, man. So you gotta see the shit. Y'all, 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 y'all nigga. Look, y'all, y'all, y'all nigga. The only part that ain't in there is that gap in between with Cassie. That's the only thing. I was just gonna say that because Cassie didn't mention that in her shit. Yeah, but you see, she gave you everything up until Cassie and then a little bit after. After Cassie, yeah. Well, hey man, that shit sounds so goddamn smooth, criminal. It's on the internet. It's on the internet. Oh, man, bro, this shit simple. Just type in Diddy paperwork. That's it. Just type in Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. Everything we don't know about Diddy. Why did you remember when they he did his birthday list? And he named all the folks who weren't answering the phone to come to his birthday party. And one with the J came up? You know, he had to look, I think, I don't know if it was his nephew or somebody sitting on their lap or grand, grandchild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah, sitting outside yeah. in the front yard. Uh -huh. And he went, night, went down that list of names. Yeah. Now, what if these are the folks that have been attending them freak offs? See, that, that, see, that's what I was and thinking. that's what it really was, but he didn't want to say that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, because why would you name these people if they never came before? They and, came before. And, they they okay, don't want to come, come now. now. And that was how he, he pushed up on Bieber, right? Yeah, he did. Damn, you don't answer the phone. You gave him that number. <laughs> but I guess your name will call out on that list. Bieber. Yeah. 
we're gonna get and it was an odd I, list of names. We're gonna get all that one. We're gonna get all that one. Now, see, it kind of makes sense when we see the, the, well, the, that, that, the Will Smith shit, son shit with Justin Bieber. It, it makes it makes sense when we just just say that name, Will Smith. Yeah. That that whole family, but, hey man, Dwayne quit painting them nail cause. <laughs> Quit paying them names, them nail Dwayne. And I'm talking about all the niggas named Dwayne. I'm, I though. promise y'all, y'all just look up. Look up. Man, this I got I got to look up. And I just watch that. that shit and just go down. Just, just look at all the shit that he done been detailing. Man, that shit gonna have you sitting there watch, reading that shit and watching that shit. You gonna be like, oh my fucking God. I salute Jaguar Wright and Cat Williams. Cause they been saying all this all shit. All Cat Williams told us on his first day. Man, you just go to the matching party like that. You go in the wrong room. but you... Come yeah, on, tried, man. I remember Cat in the leprechaun suit. He tried, Ashley, he tried Shannon, though. He's he, like, he like Sh Shannon, you don't been out there to them party before. Shannon said, I ain't never been to no goddamn party now. Yeah, he was like, yeah. you never been? He like, hell no. Cat said, well, don't never go. <laughs> He's like, well, don't goddamn go. Man, shit real. I know that's why Cat did, did the podcast. Because he know he hasn't been. Because he, he hasn't, hasn't been. He, he, Aunt was big, but he wasn't big like he is. Now, yeah. after yeah. that. Yeah. He like, man, boy. Okay. That, that, that going to be the biggest interview that anybody can Come on, man. I'm telling you, you go home. And you read and you and read right this shit, man. You gonna you gonna I, I, I'm I'm hit the group chat going off on her. Man, what the fuck? fuck? I'm telling you, you gonna be like, but if, but see if you like that's why I'm glad we used to follow music like we did back then. Yeah. Cause we knew exactly what went what went right when it came. Come in. on, man. That motherfucker said that my nigga came in that fight up a blood, boy. Now, I do hold on. before we get off this dirty subject, let me say this. I hope that we do end up getting on that revolt stage next year and having our own podcast up there. Mm -hmm. The only thing I'm gonna sit up and say is this. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna fuck it up. So we're gonna work hard to get there. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, y'all ain't getting no butt. Y'all gonna have to put us out there for real. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all I can say. Uh, anybody else got anything on this subject? You want to name some names right quick? Boy, you don't want me to go down to these niggas. Hey, man. I see, hey, man. I ain't gonna say nobody's name. But, boy. I, look, cause everybody always say, man, Skeet, you just be real call these niggas. But see, now y'all, you, you, you about to start, you about to see. Like, no, damn, no, no, goddamn, no. cool, right. But he said that about that nigga. No, no, that, no, no. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I always, I knew I always knew it was a little zest with Diddy. Come on, man. Like, it's not like, I did. Like, yes, I knew it was a little zest. Zest. But, but, I, but I didn't know that nigga with that street, though. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, did it, did it, did it. Did he it. a street nigga? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? saying? We knew he hung cuz over the balcony. We knew he put them paws on Drizzy or J. Cole. What them light skin? Put water on J. Cole. Wait, what? Water on J. Cole here or something? He what, did. What the Kendrick? And then J. Cole stuck up for Kendrick. I don't know, but I know Kendrick. Kendrick. Didn't in the club. He pulled a bill. He pulled a, he pulled a, a, a glass on one of them in the bill. It was in their paperwork. Oh, yes. That's oh, yeah. where the shit came from. And then J. Cole was the one that stuck up for. Yeah, it was Kendrick. He pulled. He pulled. A, uh, uh, he poured. Uh, I think some beer or something on his head, uh, on him, and then J Cole stuck up for him, and they got they got him in the club, but he beat up J Cole too. Beat up J Cole, man. Put him man, but y'all don't understand. Hey, y'all watch the Wire? Uh, yeah, all the way. All right, you you don't watch the Wire? What? You know who Omar is? Yeah, yeah. That's Diddy. That's Diddy is Omar with money. I'm gonna leave it at that. You running the block? Man, they, what man? They call it. <laughs> I'm telling y'all what to do. Go down there. Go down there. Man, there. Like, that's why I'm agree with you. Know, you know, yeah. hey, now you look. This how I, look. And this is why I gotta get cut here from. Cause he won't just believe anything right there. And now I see. I overly understand. Cause growing up, we was always made to look at this shit like should night with the bully, should night the aggressor, right. should night there, and they don't just trying to be cool. Get him, man. But man, this is a fucking. Uh, he's Doctor Doom. He, 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 no. he, yeah, man, this, this is Secret Wars, cuz. Like, this, this, <laughs> this nigga is like Dr. Doom, bro. This nigga's mon mon methodical. Like, he, yeah. he overthinks the play, bro. Yeah. He, like, he, I'm scared of Diddy. Yeah. I'm gonna quit talking about that nigga, man. Y'all better go throw that Yeah, man. I'm, I, my yeah, thing, Diddy calling hits. See, here. my thing is, I was just looking at the shit from what it is. Like, I understand the media is trying to get as many people to look at whatever it is that they post on. So, like, just like we, last week, we were talking about the, the, the gay nigga with Shannon Sharp or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, did y'all just read the headline or did y'all read the whole thing? Because the headline is what's gonna get motherfuckers to click. Clean, a lot clean. of times with black folks, the headline be some bullshit. We see it when when if a black man yeah. got done do some fucked up shit, it's thug black guy yeah. kills or this and that. If a white dude do it, you know it'd be some uh uh down to earth um um local factory worker yeah. goes crazy at factory. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well with a black dude yeah. they make him seem like yeah. he's fucking a, a murderer yeah. and a killer. Also with a black man, they always pick the worst picture they can find of a black man and make him yeah. look crazy. But with a white guy, they always pick the picture of him with his family when they do some shit. 
or you don't even see who the fuck it but is dude, for a long time. You don't even know it. You don't even know, don't even know what the fuck they look like. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I still say the shit that I say. Like, I don't be trying to go super hard on the shit, but I'm just saying, like, remember. Also, if you look at, like, when you were sending the, the fake picture shit, uh, not the, you were talking about, like, when they make them fake pictures. Why AI don't ever make a fake picture of nobody doing something black, or somebody black doing something good? It ain't. Cause it ain't what it's it, always a black nigga in a dress that AI done made. So I was a black nigga kissing another black nigga that AI done made. So I was a black nigga doing some fucked up shit. Uh, uh, they got pictures of AI with Meek Mill sitting too close to Diddy. They got pictures of AI Diddy, goddamn, grabbing a nigga dick or something. You know what I'm saying? But it's never a good picture. Of, uh, nobody ever makes an AI picture of LeBron James giving away $1,000 to somebody. They ain't going to do that. that exactly. Yeah, so that's my they point. Ain't gonna do that. That's the reason why I'd be like, you can't, like, like, bro, a lot of this shit, bro, be, be, be painted to make us feel a certain way about our niggas. It's always, it's never a white dude who they trying to say gay. It's always a black nigga. Hey, yeah. d- d- you know another thing we never pay attention to? Well, we did pay attention to it, but we really did because the motherfucker, that shit took on after that and down. What? Goddamn Boondocks. The Boondocks oh, yeah. been exposed. Yeah. Boondocks was supposed to nigga for a long time, though. Yeah, they were. Boondocks was supposed to nigga for a long time. I got that what, thug the in the love. The Boondocks was supposed to nigga for a long time. Hey, man, that's all that thug in love. Yeah. Oh, young thug, they called Young Thug before he came out. Before Young Thug yeah. actually became a rapper. Thug Alicious? Thug. Man, you come on, they, know, they had Riley with the halter to top, with the pocketbook, and the skirt, but it really shorts like the high they five. The Booty Warrior? That nigga was real. And they, that was a real motherfucker. He was. He looking for Vlad right now. Yeah, but get what though, y'all? That is considered anime. You can't do much like that. It's American anime. Not it's Afro Samurai. Uh, we're gonna call it shit with it. It's shit a cartoon. But it's anime. <laughs> it's just a cartoon. They, they, but they curse, when it's they do adults, adult it's anime. things in it. And people I mean, I, die. I don't know. I just watch. I used to watch. Boom. I thought Boondock was dope. When they especially started doing so Samuel L. Jackson and Lil Wayne was on that one episode. So and, you watch anime? I, whatever you want to call it. I, yeah, I guess so. I used to watch Dragon Ball Z. That's anime. That anime, yeah. 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 I mean, I don't got nothing against. It's just but, cartoons to me. That's all. But that's, oh, they're not cartoons. Oh, I, I can't. Can you believe we <laughs> we are living to see the downfall of the baddest boy? Yeah, that's crazy. Think about this. The nigga, bottom boy. Yeah, the bottom boy. The bottom boys had a label for so long and just profited off of Biggie Smalls for this long. Think about how how much Biggie really was worth it because. Nigga, you ain't dropped nobody else. Fine. I, knew y'all I mean, seen. Mace jumped in that real quick, but other than that. I know I know y'all seen all this shit coming up. Big goddamn Puffy had his hand on Biggie's shoulder and, Puffy, and Biggie started rubbing his face against his hand like this and shit, right? All the shit going by. Nah, nah, I ain't yeah. see that, but I did I did see what, hey. Look. You seen, you seen okay, Cameron? Man, I'm gonna say this. You, you, you seen Cameron? Look. Hold on, real, real quick. Huh. You seen Cameron? Interview coming back on Breakfast Club, he said, "Got He walked into the to, to the saw the deal though. Saw the deal though on the goddamn counter at Diddy apartment while Mace was standing there in his bathroom, and Cam was like, "Yo, why the fuck you got a deal though?" He said, "Yo, that's homeboy joint, man. I don't know why it's in there." And the Cam was like, "But nigga, this show <laughs> this your bathroom though. Yeah, this mm. shit in your bathroom. Like, like this shit this shit going and on, bro. We did, I did, we did hear <laughs> so and, somebody was in the truck with the boy. Like Hold on, now we did hear about, hear about somebody was in the truck with the boy. Mace had a, had a, had a, had a, had a transgender." In the truck. You know what I'm saying? Got caught with a transgender in hey the man, truck. Hey, man. Pimp C like, tried to warn us about these niggas a long time ago. Pimp C been pimp saying it now. But who got caught with the with the thing in the truck with the boy? Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about up there up north, man. Pimp C now. So these niggas got dicks in bathrooms and riding around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. I can't. Well, allegedly, you don't know what's not, going on. I can't. But, hey, but, but allegedly, I did hear this. Now, this is how methodical. Now, if this part is true. Man, this nigga set faith to go over there. Fuck goddamn pop. Made her marry goddamn my nigga bit. Just to watch him. Make sure that nigga don't do no funny style shit. That's what they say. Like, that nigga really, like, he made, a, he got, a, he wanna got him a, a fine bitch and made her go goddamn play in the middle of some real niggas. Allegedly. A- allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. But what we always say, nothing has ever started without a woman in the middle of it, man. That's facts. Every beef with a nigga down there. So and you saying P. Diddy orchestrated. Man, that's what that's what I was saying. And you know what? I, I, that, what I really think hurt me. It's called sixty minutes. <laughs> look, that's think about, look, that's think about how we always got, say. send me the link. How man. y'all niggas this rich and sharing all these hoes? But somebody admitted to yeah, everybody was getting swapped out. If this ain't the true word that I've been reading, cause man, what? Send me the link, man. Man, these niggas ain't real, cause and everything I be saying about these, these niggas a whole ass nigga, cause y'all nigga lame here. Hey, it's y'all, y'all, y'all don't watch it, man. I'm not saying. Hello, no, 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 no. Some of that shit I believe. Not, I don't say I believe all of Yeah, not all of them. I don't know. I'm not going to say I don't believe shit. No, no, shit that he just, I just need to be confirmed. Yeah, the shit that he just named, I was intrigued. Like, whoa. 
Cause you you reading all this other shit and then you like, damn, he did that, he did that. You know what I'm saying? And then when I got to that part, I'm like, it makes you think like, I can see that happening too. Cause all this other shit I done seen happen. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I was just like, damn. Now do I believe that was a situation of faith? No, I don't. I don't think he 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 had it like that. But when I seen goddamn Bigger doing that shit in his hand, this shit in the video, bro. I'm like, I just so look at it like this. if if all the other shit is true. Then that conversation that she had with him about, like, I did the shit with Paul and I did it, that, that shit overly true. See, if I that other it, shit is true, then that shit is definitely true. That, that, I, that's I, thought that, it, I thought it came out that Pop didn't actually fuck her. But go to hell. Tupac was hitting everybody, bit. Yeah, Tupac was hitting So everybody. Tupac really is. I, I done heard it from too many different niggas that say Tupac gonna smash your bitch. I don't love the nigga that say gonna smash your bitch like that at Pimp C and both of these niggas did. True. That's true. Like, it, it, bro, this shit crazy, man. It's just, and like, and Puffy and these nigga hoes. No, hold on, let me, let me, let me know. Cause we're not, we're not, I'm not gonna act like Puffy wants smashing these hoes. He just getting smashed too. Now, see, that's the problem. That's that's the, that's where the problem lies. He'll switch hitter. Yeah, man. He, he said, nigga, boy, 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 back both ways. And, but, <laughs> but if you don't mess with Trigger, <laughs> nigga, yeah, he need to go to jail. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let's, let's show this for the camera, nigga. A little freaky nigga. It don't even matter. <laughs> I don't think people realize like how young we are. You know, so we're actually like kids in this multi-billion dollar industry. What the hell did he do? Did he rub his face with his hand yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think people realize. So you know, I think they did right though. Now you know, if, if this is true, allegedly, he's I would try. He used to diss the fuck out Biggie all the time. Like say he's ugly and shit. Yeah. yeah. So maybe maybe that's why he put in the song man, like damn put maybe man I don't even want to think that oh no, no, man no, no, no. maybe he all money he ain't good money. Hold on now, now Pip maybe has some questionable lyrics too now. That's what I'm saying. And that um bit Papa video oh, I know, shot I the album album bigger than mine. Hype we had shot in that what now? You don't remember the, uh, I love when you call me Big Papa video. Oh that trans they said yeah, that one was a trans 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 video. And she was in the LL hey, video. Hey, and like, she got the, and you know I bet they had the trans off and on Tupac video. He's one of my man. man. He's one of my man. Nah, that wasn't no really no bad line like that. Like I, now you say you want to suck some girl. Say, daddy say you look so good, I suck on your daddy's dick. He said my nigga, uh, fuck him in the ass, throw him over the bridge. Like that shit is like wow. Like nigga, you bitch, you look so good, I suck on your daddy's dick. And that's 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 crazy. Like right he there. said that in the verse, bro. Like I'm a Biggie fan. Like I remember that shit. Like my man, he said my man. Uh, I forgot to say my man. I forgot what the name, but he said uh, he fuck him in the ass, throw him over the bridge. That's how it is. You niggas play it out. Fuck kids in the ass and throw him over the bridge. Like that what Biggie said for y'all niggas up north. Don't think what we talking about. Again, let's go back to what I said. Man, this he shit, only this needs shit, to go he, to he jail. Put it out there, Allegedly, he only needs to go to jail if he's been messing with children. Now, what if the deadler is <laughs> the deadler. pounding little kids' backs in, or making them pound his back in, and then throwing them over a bridge so they can't talk? I just this is this. this is I seen I seen a wild. Much. Hey man, it's a lot. I seen a wild video of a real pop star and a football player, and they look like that that nigga was topping off the football player. So. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say that name because he like, can't sue me. But if you go on YouTube, type in pop star topping off a football player who only blew up because he did. He had one good highlight. Mm. Ain't gonna lie to y'all. This is gonna be the biggest trial in American history. You think he ain't gonna pass OJ? Yep. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Well, OJ. Gonna drag him. Nah, I ain't gonna, ain't gonna it depends on what come out. Like, is the right name get popped out? And you know what I wanna know? Did, have, 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 have we ever seen the Epstein list? The Epstein, well, yeah, the Epstein. Epstein. But I say oh, like yeah. the whole list. Yeah, it's all. Okay. Yeah, it, it, I was just saying to myself, if they try to just uh, just expose everybody with Diddy, mm -hmm. it, but y'all ain't do that, then I like, come on now. We gotta cut this shit out now. We got everybody yeah. gotta get it now. Yeah, no, I don't think like with the Diddy trial, I don't think it'll be the biggest ever because one, it ain't no racial element to it. If, if he if he had a racial element to it, like white versus black, like OJ situation was, then maybe. But nah, hell no. Nah. Shit no. Nah. Because hey. It's just basically a nigga. It gonna be a waste of money if being freaky. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna be bigger than R. Kelly's trial. I mean, it might, it, but it got it's got to have the pedophilia or the, the homosexual element. Just some freaking these look these these yeah. bitch that want to be freak. Nobody gonna care about that. Yeah, I hate to say that. He, he ain't grown ass. Yeah, he just he just fucking grown ass women who just want to fuck. And know? what what do women promote all day online? 
Bouncing yeah. ass and they're trying to they trying to set they self out. They're trying to get the shit. Come on. What are we like niggas quit we ain't we ain't bashing no women. We just know that what y'all trying to get that bad. But the other the other shit, that's what's weird. Like that that's yeah. what I'm on, like the weird shit. You better yeah. not be messing with no children for real, for real. Yeah. Uh, hey y'all. Let's, huh. Before we leave this one last topic. Meek Mill said he is paying a hundred thousand cash to find for, do an investigation team to find out every specific detail involving Meek Mill's name to the Diddy case. I also want them to look at who is powering the media involving Meek and anything to do with Buddy. Something not right. Why you keep talking? It's not like he's scared. Of Why would he write he that? He keep talking, man. What you mean? Why would he? Why he's scared. He's scared, ain't he? Hey, man. We... He was at that party. Hey man. Hey man, let's keep it moving, man. How y'all been watching the Dolph thing, man? The Dolph situation this week, man. Yep. Big story just happened. You know, the trial started today. Um, Skeet, man, I'm gonna let you take off on this one, man. Hey man, shot that nigga cornbread, man. That nigga got done <laughs> dropping all the juice. He said, "Oh hell yeah, the drug game was well, a hundred k cook. Like you know, what I mean? <laughs> he only got eight hundred dollars." And that's why he's telling you everything. They little boy. See, you can't. You gotta. Hey, man, you gotta tie up all the loose ends. Now, you know, I fuck with that. It's pre o. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Dolph. But like, nigga, if y'all gonna do some real shit, y'all, if y'all knew he, y'all were gonna pay that nigga. Y'all should have killed his dumb ass too. But now he's up there telling everything on straight drop, straight drop, looking over there like, man, I'm about to go to prison, rest my life behind this goof, goof ass, ass nigga. nigga. Facts. This goof ass. Like they said, yeah. That drop right there with the uh with the uh bad pro hat on. Like that nigga, hey man, he he like he said that was me with the Draco. I ain't no shot of Draco for that my first man. time. Like that, I'm like damn dog. Like you you I hope they gonna let your ass out. That, Cause man. you know what I mean? He's telling everything cause he ain't gonna make it. Yeah, um I didn't wanna watch it at first. Nah, I had to watch I can't believe they just said uh he did. Like, I just like, sometimes I be feeling like that, that, the death videos of shit, you know, like that. No, they didn't show the. They didn't like, show that. Shit. Didn't show I mean, that. I know that, but yeah. like his last moments, like I read. Yeah, that. I feel you yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like how they was uh, breaking news, Young Dolph's last moments. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, like. Um, somebody forget some time. That's, that's just the base. I think, bro, telling because shit. Look, first of all. Do you think this shit gonna be tied back? I asked you in the car. You think they gonna be able to tie this back to your guy to them? That head brother. Right, but I'm saying you think they'll be able to tie it to Who pay who paid Jup? Who paid him? That's what I'm saying. Who paid Jup? How Jup get a hundred? Okay. So that's why it's probably no not no longer cocaine music. It's collective music. music group. That's true. Yeah. 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 They he didn't want to make it sound like a gang. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it could, y'all. It could definitely. You know what I'm saying? Go that like, way, could though. they really? But Jup did. Cause, Cause Rico, they can't, they, they can't charge up. Jup. Okay, but guess what? Rico, Long everybody, live. motherfucking ass. <laughs> Jup only got money because cause yo gotta been paying. Rico charge. It just depends on how how bad the state want to push the issue. Rico charge. Guess what? The only thing it takes is one motherfucker make a dollar from your organization, and and some criminal shit happens from the top down. Now you know what? We already know. God, it was beefing with, with, with Dolph. We already know yeah. all of this shit now. It's 100K now I'm not saying, I'm not wishing nothing, nothing bad on them folks because y'all know Big Booger is a friend of the show and he comes on here every time we ask him and Booger, we, we just going through what could what could possibly happen. They could definitely push the button. You know what I'm saying? If them folks really want to take it though, is it a state case right now, right? They right? Yeah. yeah. So what? Now, if you're trying to fade now, that means Rico's coming down now. That means some money, some shit, big. But I, I just want to know. I think, uh, yeah, I, yeah, it, it got to go fed to get my thing. Yeah. Be because Be Atlanta showing states that well, you better your shit together trying to give a nigga a state Rico. Yeah. Because yeah. it ain't easy. When the feds give you a Rico, they got you. But see, the, the difference between the YSL trial and goddamn the uh, the PRE, the, the Dolph's K, it's like they can't stride the back. Oh no, we got this shit sold up. Like they yeah. got it, it, for real. If I'm drunk, I'm taking I'm taking a plea right now. Cause this shit sold up for my part. You know what I'm saying? They go again. I'm just a shooter, cuz. Let me go ahead, cuz. Then they got rid of completely told the whole movie. You know what I'm saying? Let me go to get up out there, boy. So, 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 do you think Drop, from his point of view, 
Ain't nothing he can do to get out of this shit. No, yeah, he, he dead. dead. He yeah. First of all, you went and did the video at, no. in Vegas with the Bass Pro shit. You had the Bass Pro shit yeah, on. Yeah, they had and all the evidence. They got down, what's it called? The car and, was got tied to you yeah, too. And you got the PRE um, necklace on your wallet chain for a video. No, no, okay. Now, it was two shooters now, right? Yeah, Cornbread and him. So Cornbread snitching on. Yeah, he's he telling on all of But he's going to get something too. Yeah, he's still going to jail. Yeah, he's still going to jail. That's what I'm saying. So, if I was, I'm trying to say, can I just get They're going to get a straight drop. Yeah. Before you just crush me all the way because they nigga turned the whole goddamn move. Yeah. Straight they, drop, they're going to get like a 30. Yeah, they really got the case sold up, bro. Yeah, that, 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 that the murder case is done. That shit done. Now, now, do we want to crank something else that's up? up? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do we want to follow some money? Do we want to build us a whole nother little? Because they're going to, like you say, what you just said, they gonna, do they want to follow the money? No, yeah. if we, we want to really just go into detail like, what does Juke do for y'all? What yeah. is, what is it? That, show that, me his show me, show me his money. Show me. You know what I'm saying? How he get a hundred k? But hey, brother, he can say it's a birthday gift. I gave him hundred k this day. I, but True. you know what? I, I'm gonna say that too. Yeah, you know I gave everybody. 100K. It's mighty strange. They picked Juke up though, and mm -hmm. let Juke go. Wait, come on. But when when this shit was going on? Yeah, when this on. I didn't care that boy. Juke got oh. picked. But listen, what I'm saying. He got picked up. And he got let go. So in my eyes, everything should have been cool for cut. But I was like, you get killed. Now you're the mastermind for shit show now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who killed cut? I don't know though. Yeah, man. Hey, I think that's gonna be an interesting case. No, no, not really, because this shit really sold up. They owe it statewide. Yeah, it's statewide. That shit. Like I say, if they do they want to follow the money. And if they follow the money, but we could see the collapse of a big ass. Woof. Woof woof woof. But hey, man, we're going to see what happens, man. Let's get into this shit, though, man. My boy, Pluto, man, dropped to me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> One I could just it? listen to, man. You know what I'm saying? My boy went crazy with mixtape Pluto, man. I, I know a lot of y'all feel away. Some of y'all, I see mostly positive reviews on the album. Well, I say 90% positive views. I see a couple, you know, saying negative views from people and shit. What y'all think about that mid-take Pluto, man? Hey, man, you ain't got to like Solid. it if you ain't from here. Cause get what? That's the best thing you don't hear it all year. I don't care. <laughs> hey, man, Pluto, Pluto, the wizard just went, you know, five March the future just went three for three this year, man. Three for he, three. He just went three for three. He, even if you say, I don't like this, this one, you can't say you, can't say you don't like two out of three. We could do this. We can go that. Every state picked a best rapper who done dropped something this year. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put it up against Pluto. And I guarantee Pluto win. And I guarantee you're going to pick one of the youngest motherfuckers in every one of these states. Pluto is a whole wizard. Facts. He gets better it, with yeah. every tape. I've been listening to it for like the last two days. I mean. No features. I ain't going to lie. I think, I think he made this shit for the streets for real. Because it's like it got a. It's like every song is solid, but he ain't got no. Uh, I ain't heard no. I don't hear no commercial song on it, but it's just solid all the way through. It'll too fast might be your closing. Uh -huh. Too too fast. You got to be over too fast. Well, yeah, well, yeah that, mean, technically, but, that technically would be. A, I guess you'd say his lead. It's a single. I mean, single for it. Yeah. Um, no, nah, I get what you're saying though. Like it don't sound like oh this is the. But it's you, but you it's ain't not, but, it, but it's not yeah, a I bad album. It's, it's a good. Yeah, album. I, I get what you're yeah. saying. It don't have no like. This is the hit hit. Yeah, like yeah, they don't yeah. have no traditional sounding hit on it. You know, I'm not gonna two or three. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Ski gonna probably be a hit. That's the hit. And I think Pluto Ski gonna be a, a hit because it's gonna be so weird to a lot of people. People gonna listen to it for the wrong yeah. reason. And push yeah. the button. Push the button hard. Uh, no, Ocean is crazy. Ocean. Man. Yeah, I'm saying then with my twin, little Lil demon gonna be one. Say demon. gang. Say yes. Yeah, like he, he got he got some he got some hood hits. Yes, shit they gonna go at your party. Yo 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 next he got a, party. He got some hood hits. You might get a lot of free, a lot of dose. You, of gonna, hear, you gonna hear five of his songs. In, in I, the was telling, I was telling I was telling this past weekend. I think Future might be my favorite rapper of all time. But you said that shit. I think Future might be. I'm sorry, I walk. But I think Future now might be my favorite rapper. Sorry, Jay. Man, Pluto, oh, bro. Yeah, I mean, Jay. <laughs> Pluto, nigga. Future ain't bullshit, man. man Future ain't, man, my boy ain't let me down yet, man. Future is the youngest old nigga in hip hop history. Facts. Yeah. These kids don't even know how old Future is, bro. They really don't know that, man. I'm Say, telling you, bro. They, I, nobody questions his age. He's the only rapper nobody's questioned his age. He ain't trying to age. be, no. He, he'll take, I'll load him and take. He getting litty with the young crew. Yeah. Come I'm on, telling man. you, man. Future, man, you do this shit for me, bro. 
I'd be, feel, I be feeling like, like if I'm I got some like, money, no old shit going on over here. If I got some money, I, I would live just like that. I would live like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I'm putting this shit on money. every day when I get a chance. <laughs> How many times? I'm only wearing this shit because we ain't got nothing else to wear. Right. <laughs> no cap. Like, I'm like offset on stage. Nigga said the remote world. I got this shit on, don't it, y'all? I got this shit on today, don't it? Like, he said shit on stage after the whole show, bro. Yeah. Like, he was like, man, I got this shit up. Like, I got my boy lit up, though. <laughs> like, my boy lit. Like, future man, come on, man. That, that nigga epitomizes every. And I, look, I ain't trying to dick ride this nigga. Nothing. I done met future before, sat down with this nigga at the Waffle House. But, man, this nigga, man, that, that's really the nigga that you, when you get his age, come on, man. Yeah. I'm like, shit, man. That nigga talking that shit I want to hear, man. That shit you really want. What they hear. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, like man, just saying. And then on uh, what's on it? Ski, I think. And the ski. He was rapping, bro. Oh, yeah. Like, like he, he really right. was rapping. I was like, like, oh, he, like he, he was like, I could do it. Any type of way you're trying to hear it. Like, it, how it do don't you want even, it? That's how you got. And then the way the song started, you're not even thinking it's about to go like that. But, see, why can't this? Hey, His future bigger than Drake. Yes. Yeah, right now. He ain't bigger than Drake. I mean, not in the for me, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I was at the big scope of things. No, because Drake is, I hate to say it, but his his religion got him in another place. So no, he, I mean, for me, I agree with you. For me, he is bigger than Drake. I'm not listening to Drake like that, but like if I'm being completely unbiased, like first, like once I had to go to look at all these numbers and shit, then nah. It, it, no, I mean, we ain't got we ain't, wait, hold on, wait. But if, I, when I, if I'm saying what what sounds better to me, future. yeah, future sounds future. way better than. I thought we saying the same thing. Future definitely sounds better to me. I just think Drake. Okay, first of all, music is about a feeling. Drake does music a lot of different places. Mm. Reggae tone. Fucking dance hall, all type of shit. Like, first of all, I don't even think that's like a, a really fair question. I, mean, I don't think nobody really thinks yeah. Future is bigger than Drake. He ain't. Now, who's better? You say, who's, who, who do you like better? I can go for that. No, they, and they, I like Future. But Drake, do got that Take Care CD is a motherfucking classic. I'm not going to lie. He got bar. He, he rapping his ass off on that motherfucker. I like that album. I, I think Future moves the culture more than Drake. Oh, yeah, he, yeah. No, I think yeah. Future is the culture. Yeah, I think I think because we can't for Atlanta. One anyway. thing I agree with Skeeter on is this, man. Look, I, I am a numbers guy, but that don't mean that I under, that, that don't mean that that's what the culture is. Look at her. Taylor Swift gonna sell more than anything. She ain't gonna move shit with us. Okay. Like, she ain't gonna move the cool for us. She ain't gonna make it. But Taylor do it. I got, none of that shit matters. Like you just move a number because white folks like you, and most most of America is white people. But far as moving the culture, like the culture, culture, man. Future got had everybody out here one time drinking lean, man. Yeah. Taking perks, y'all niggas ain't never put on a Drake shoe before. Hell, they got a shoe with Nike. My hair. OVO nine. I, ain't know, ain't no, ain't no, I ain't never heard y'all niggas say, "Boy, I got them OVO 13s today." I ain't today. know he had a shoe. Exactly. Okay. This nigga ain't moving the culture. Future movement was move. Future had everybody out here wearing top hats for a minute, man. Facts. Facts. Nigga, my hair is bleached. Nigga, come on, man. Like, what we, I, like, you don't see no guy drunk colorful ass barrettes in my hair. Like, and, and, like and this, this is how you know. This is how you know he moved the culture. Because Drake ain't up. Why Drake ain't up did a, did, did a mixtape with niggas that's in his same lane like J. Cole or Kendrick and none of them niggas. He always gonna do a mixtape with niggas from the streets because guess what? That's the one segment of music he don't got. Mm-hmm. He know we ain't trying to hear that shit. That's why he go extra dog. He get an old gang banging ass sign. So. Come on, man. He get on the song with Future. What he gonna do? Shit, that why he would. That why he. That why he ain't this future on that family matters. Me and me and Pluto never really got into it or whatever he said. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I know. Um, he knows if he diss Pluto, and you, bro, you can't you can't diss Pluto and think you gonna come down here and do no work with nobody. Cause Pluto gonna got don't show you that whoever you try to work with, nigga, they need him more than they need you for that longevity. Cause you ain't gonna keep working with him. Man, for for future to be. His age, we ain't gonna, you know, it is what it is. Y'all can Google it. And to still move, I think he on pay for 135. The growth, the growth of future. No future, no features? Need to be studied. (laughs) Need to be studied, man. This shit need to be a course at a school or something, man. Hey, man, you talking, preach to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're gonna start opening up workshops on Saturdays, man. Future, Future is what Gucci Man was supposed to be. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Gucci Tape right now is supposed to be sounding like. What we just got for future because them beats sound like if you know what to me to me now it sound like trap house three goose bear 
like that dog sound, like a lot of slow it down type shit. No, no, really, no singles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that type of era walk. Like that's how that shit. Like, 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 nigga, we on drugs all day, nigga. Like, like that's what it sound like to me. And because he 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 gave it to y'all top mixtape Pluto. And when I seen the Dungeon Family House on the front cover, I said, Oh yeah, about to go crazy. Now, what if we find out that shit want number all freestyle? Man, bro, if I hear oh that shit, God. I'm not even gonna do it. I, I slipped for bro, I slipped I believe bleed. a lot of what I believe freestyle. a lot of that shit was straight freestyle. He it just was. went in there, said, these niggas said they want to hit that, they want to hit that Molly World shit, huh? They want me to go in, like, like, nigga, yeah, yeah. I went in here, Mark McGuire <laughs> pop up or something on that motherfucker, man. Like, that nigga, hey, man, it was a, that nigga, hey. like, DNA, that, that nigga was really, I said, oh my God, he was straight goddamn ratchet. All through that bit. Nah, that shit going crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I I ain't, but I swear I went straight sound. Probably like eight for eight, man. I ain't even skip shit. I was like, damn, I ain't had to skip nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I was at work fucked up, man. I ain't, ain't got, you know, I don't have no service on the floor. Mm -hmm. But I know like a spot to go to it. Mm -hmm. Man, I restart out that goddamn uh, that ski. Oh yeah. My boy said I was smiling on smart. a perk. <laughs> yeah. Smiling on a perk, and she was speaking in tongues. <laughs> Every time we get to that part, though, my servers go out, so the song will start. Yeah, I played just that, the beginning to that. Hey man, I think I didn't get past song one for about goddamn two days, boy. Yeah, but that future, right. future right. I ain't gonna lie on. I did get scared. That nigga said he ain't gonna let up on these nigga like he old man. Low live my cousin Yola, man. Oh yeah, like Cal I ain't gonna up on the California yeah. worry when I roll. I said, oh, but that nigga got that knew what he was talking about. Boy. Yeah man, I ain't gonna lie, man. And for y'all motherfuckers online, talking about some man, nigga ain't talking about nothing, talking about the same shit. Hey man, look at Chris Brown ain't been talking, ain't stopped talking about love yet. <laughs> I'm still singing and dance. They still singing and dance. All these niggas still talking about. Everybody talk about what they know, man. I hate that shit when motherfuckers use that as a reason why they don't like somebody. Who man, that nigga that Wayne from Georgia. Yeah, they was covering niggas. Man, nigga Future ain't. He still talking about lean and mile and all this other shit. But look, you know the crazy part of that. The crazy part of that is thinking about this is like, let's just say if a nigga do come with some new shit, the first thing they gonna say is, man, we like that old shit. Yeah. Sometimes. So it's like, so it like, don't complain about even if he is talking about the same shit. That's what made you love him anyway. So it's like, why you trying to criticize that? Because if he came with some new shit, nigga be talking about, oh, he don't sound like the old Future. No, I agree with that. Yeah, but yeah. I, I say I say I say I say the old shit with certain artists. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. I wish Wap was coming with old older sound and shit because he was yeah. in his bag back in the day. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Well, now it don't sound like he's in his bag. To me, Future still sound like on par with what he's been making for the past six, seven, eight years. Yeah, you know what he's saying? still, like, doing he still sound at, a high at level. that level. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I say I want somebody old shit, I feel like you ain't on that same level you've been on. But I get what you're saying. You, you, yeah. That's true. You know, if niggas do. Want to say, oh man, or try to find a reason why they ain't fucking with somebody. Yeah, else. But yeah, no yeah. matter, no matter what artist it is in Atlanta right now, Feature sets the bar. Like, yeah, Feature really set the bar for the South. Yeah. But I, I ain't gonna hold nobody else state right now. That in the South, I'm just gonna say. So I'm gonna say for Georgia, that's the bar right there. Yeah, can you meet that level? Can you, do your does your music got to meet the criteria? He, uh, just, he, just, he just blessed Libra season. I appreciate that future. Yeah, I'm going crazy all Libra season now. Yeah, man. Kind of the only thing that is on that level um, 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 this year out of Georgia is us. Gunner. Nigga, ain't nobody else met that level of rapping hey, like future. What y'all think about him taking Gunner off the album? Would have been the only feature on there. Hey, man. I can't go. I, hey, man. Can't hey, go. Man. But look, notice though, it was the wet only feature on there. Yeah. Okay. Well, for, let me say this. I think it was a business move too. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah he probably I mean, know how people gonna react. To it. No, 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 not that, not that, not the, that. Hold the on, pain hold on. ain't drawn that nigga. No, 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 do what I'm saying. Do, do what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. The reason why I'm saying I think it was a business move because, you know, him and Drake was sending some shots. You know, people were saying that nigga Drake been on all your last three, four projects. Future went on to drop the project without Drake on it and still did one thirty five, bro. That's a business move, like nigga. Now, I'm that nigga for real. real. I don't need nobody. I don't need no feature, nigga. Yeah, but he don't know. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But 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 they were saying that he did because all his biggest shit in the past couple of years has been with Drake features. All the way back to Dirty Sprite too. You know what I count that as? That was that the wizard just being no, lazy, no. letting that nigga have some shine with him. No, I agree he with you. He thought they were straight. But he had yeah. a certain nigga like, bitch, don't play with me, fuck nigga. Like I'm a good Cause, cause, cause Even if he didn't have Drake, right? Cup no. A lot of people saying shit like that only did that because Kendra jumped on that and she dropped that verse. Yeah. 
But you know what I'm, you, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just giving you what people been saying online. You're not on the internet, Ski. It ain't. It, look, I know you like feature. I'm just telling you what these motherfuckers been saying. Man. So he dropped the tape with no features just to show people I'm gonna still do 100 damn near 150. But I, this, this is why I want for all those people who say that shit about him needing Kendrick. That's the reason why the shit was fine. Nobody else had the balls to diss Drake until feature dropped like that. So just think about that. We're gonna we go, we're gonna leave y'all with that right there. Now, it, you, it was, do, you do it, know it's a meme, right? What? A cartoon meme that Future and Metro Boomer was playing the song, playing um um what is it? Big of the Super Bowl. What is it called? Big, uh, uh, first person shooter. First person shooter, right? While Kendrick was sleeping, and Kendrick hopped up like, "No, nigga, the fuck this nigga <laughs> saying, nigga." And then Kendrick yeah. jumped on like I that, saw that. Yeah. because Future. And Metro Boomin hyped him up, which it came from Kanye West saying in an interview with Justin LeBoy that Future hyped them up to diss Drake. There you go. They would not have the balls to do that without the wizard saying, the nigga from Atlanta. Yeah. They said Future was. Oh, man. Kanye West said that. Now he said Future had us hyped ready to diss Hey, man. It's okay to put that belt on that whole ass. Let go. He said what? It's okay to put that belt on that whole ass. Let go. You know what I'm saying? They hit his ass with that switch. Hey, man. That's the one. Future don't diss nobody. That's not his guy. He's a player. Yeah. Pluto, a player, man. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got time for that fuck. He's a player and a dope. So for you for you to make him go out of his catalog to go find some some goddamn drill shit? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm gonna call that. that. That's drill. That was a drill song. What song? Like that? Yeah, that was a drill. That was I could I could say that that's his drill song. Uh, got picture too clear for that shit. Well, not drill sound. You know, I know. I know. I got. I really I got just you. try to shit on that nigga Drake by saying that. Drill. He can make that shit. <laughs> uh. hey, you know, Prince ain't gonna rap about how he, how he gonna do these hoes. He don't, man. He ain't talking about really. He got his young niggas to do that. You know what I'm saying? But nah, he had to address this nigga. Yeah, Prince yeah. ain't never had to address nobody, man. You make I'm shit. Hey. Well, uh, that was ever, the diss at uh, Designer. Designer, yeah. Well, Did he ever have to address him again? No, but the, that song was crazy, though. Wizard speaks once, and that's it. <laughs> Wizard speaks once. So that's that's that nigga went crazy. crazy. Yeah, the Wizard speaks once. No, all right, man. Hey, bro, y'all right, bro. I, I get you, Skeet. I get man. you. I, I'm just saying, the album was dope to me. I thought it was cold. Look, if you don't know the difference between a mixtape and an album, go do your research. Mixtape is not going to be single feel. I think he gave us a bunch of like shit for the streets, like hard, bass hitting. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I, some of these hooks I don't even give a fuck about, like Pudowski, shit like that. It was cold to me. Rapping his ass off on Ski to me. You know what I mean? Um, um, gave us something like like Too Fast for, for people who do look for those single sounding songs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, miss my what, what the song is? Miss my dog or some shit. Yeah, that, that bass is like my, my savage. It's like a, a new, like a new my day. twin. Shit like that. Shit for like the motherfuckers who just want to calm down for a minute. He gave you every level of high and low you can get. It's more lows. And what I mean by lows is like slower. Like some for you to listen to yeah. just by yourself, you'll be straight yeah. with some headphones. You on. get your typical future shit, man. Y'all quit saying that, man. He ain't talking about shit. Cause all y'all favorite rappers talk about the same shit. All, especially y'all R and B niggas. Omar Young been begging since '95. <laughs> <laughs> we just seen Tyrese cry Talking about some hit the album 1992 The best R&B album ever Guess what that's telling me You bet you're crying On that motherfucker too You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying Just keeping it real Quit saying that shit When it come to, your, come to these rappers Y'all only do that shit For rappers Yeah Man they ain't talking about nothing. He ain't he talking, about talking about the same shit He talking about the same shit All the R&B niggas yeah. doing it. Look here Keisha Cole was talking about Some love and shit Back in the day She's still doing that shit now She running behind Huncho Mary J. Blog got hurt. How many times she done one, paid a nigga? One time in 1922. You know what I'm saying? And still, still on the same shit. Hey, we got to stop doing this with with our goddamn goats now. Like like. Oh no, nah, we ain't gonna let them goddamn mess up man, with Merlin. Man, don't start talking. <laughs> that nigga named Merlin. No man, he is the the wizard. Man. He is the wizard man. Hey man, he put the sword in the stone man. Like, like, <laughs> that nigga ain't going, bro. That that one nigga I can say is not going. Like it ain't nowhere around that shit. Like. And, we gotta start, that shit. And, and, and his run ain't been like to the peak of Drake's, but we got to start putting respect on his run in general. Been just as long as Drake's. Yeah, yeah. Niggas been relevant just to 2011, 2011. How do you go with it now? 2010, right 2010. Right what you gonna do? That is true. You know, you know why I believe he ain't just excel. Talk to him. My boy Future ain't been to no data party. <laughs> 
This nigga. He ain't going around. Now, so Future did get caught on, on tape. This one did it though, long time. Like, old ass nigga popping his ass up. You ain't remember your money that shit? Hey, man. I'm I'm nigga, like, I want to beat up. Old ass nigga come to my party, man. He <laughs> said that shit, bro. Hey, man. Nigga ain't never Look been up on no... YouTube. When they don't did it, bro. He <laughs> said that shit. Like, yeah. Hey, he ain't never been no dead party, man. That, so he thought he re, he's at the maximum ceiling for an artist without goddamn getting that Extra hat on push. the back. Come on, yeah. let go. You know what I'm saying? Think Come about on. that though. We know he's the most. Who the fuck when we trying to drop the bag on Future, man? Just think about that. Future's the like we really think of, he is the biggest thing in the song. That's why you can't tell us he ain't until we go out here or unless you just in tune with what music sells and all that. Like you got to be overly in tune to realize that Future ain't the biggest artist out here. So why ain't nobody trying to get that nigga no money? She is shot. Consistent in everything. You can't say, oh, he paid the music. No, money. He got, him, he got a deal. No, no. I mean, I mean, goddamn. I mean, that money, like. But he's so having catalog for like 100, 100. But I mean, he shouldn't even had to. We shouldn't even be at that stage. Like, I'm talking about, you know what I mean when I say that money. That button ain't been pushed behind him. Future? I, this is all his work. How we feel about it. I'm talking about that, that button when they just like. Put like it. For a minute. Future Globe. Why, why, no, no, no. Why did For a second. You had to say Future and Lil Baby was on the same level. Or, either, or Lil Baby was bigger than Future. How the fuck is that possible? That's true. Yeah. yeah. I see what you're saying. Because you, you would never say that about Lil Baby. Yeah, because Future, Future ain't never did a world tour, though. Future ain't selling. Like, like, bro, like they were saying that shit. Like, the nigga, um, What's the Dirt, was saying that shit. Kendrick, yes. But he was saying on What's the Dirt. Future shows he been on big festivals. But he's never done a world tour like Kendrick or Drake have. So, kind of made sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I agree with you. Like, they ain't really... And it may be because of the drugs a little bit. The drug talks, the, the extensive drug talk. You know what I'm saying? He ain't really been... He should be bigger. It's like Future is still kind of... You. It, it's like he's the most mainstream underground nigga ever. Underground is a strong word. When I say underground, I'm saying it because how the hell can an artist come out and just seem like he's on his level automatically? You know what I'm saying? That that yeah. comes from a button being pushed to put a, a certain artist in your face all the time. Then. No, I'll get you on that. But let's, let's okay. No. And not saying little baby don't got the songs, but he got good, he got all the good songs and shit to back it up. But you're not gonna tell me a nigga that's been doing it as long as Drake is not an. I mean, not, I mean long as Future. Future is not an asset. Like he ain't supposed to. Ben already got that. Kind no, of no, I get you on that. Yeah, I get you on that. But but little baby had a big ass button behind him too now. And not even that. People Think about them was had the D bag. When Thug came out, you know everybody fucking with Thug. But then it's like that button got pushed, and Thug is right there with Future too. If not, you would think I, he he might be bigger than Future outside of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, but inside of Atlanta, we know ain't nothing bigger than future. Yeah, facts. I get what you're saying. I, I ain't arguing with you. I, I ain't arguing with that pers pers perspective. Huh? You know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. I, I just feel like the run futures had is like no other. Because even if you say Thug that had a run, Thug run ain't been at the top number maybe like two years, maybe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe so much, so much fun, so much yeah. fun years. Yeah. He only sold a hundred thousand one time. But remember, and, you're not a big dog. You move a hundred. But every wrong. time Future drop is anticipated. It's like the new Jays coming out. As long as they're retro OG, they're gonna sell. <laughs> but yeah. lately, he been doing like a week promo. And yeah. It's here. It's here. Cause I told Cause about that Future drop Friday. Cause said, damn for real. Like, like, I let like, you know, like it's, a, don't even, it's a week promo. This nigga make one tweet Friday. It's understood. But is it not understood? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, That's it. Not, That's but it. but. We're not gonna say it's not, man, nigga. That you know, I'm not. Well, I'm trying. saying, man, I don't catch really nobody some behind it, like promote. But see, that's real. that's the album. See, like when he drop an album, it's gonna. Right. Yeah. Any other time, somebody drop. Do you not always ask me, have I heard it first? Mm -hmm. Did you have to ask me, have I heard the future? I'm I'm sending you songs and and but then me right here. What they they said right. Yeah, you right about that ski man. But you're gonna check future out if you don't check nothing else. Yeah. That's goddamn ski ball. That's my shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's my shit. That, that shit that hard. Let, let's, let's keep it moving, man. Y'all watch sports, man. Let's just get to this real quick and get the fuck up out of here. Y'all yes, watch the uh, college football, in it? Boy, that shit was crazy. Colorado. Shit, I, I, shit, I called yeah. for the... Hey, hey have y'all seen the camera, the butt camera view? Not butt camera, but like... The pylon. Yeah. Yeah, but the dot. You see, 
when and you he can got, see like oh, the receiver running at you. Mm-hmm. Like, did you see that view? I think oh, somebody, what, doing, what, doing, what like he running back to the ball like, to catch the ball. No, no, I, I called it from like he running at the receiver running like, like you can see Shador like what, what, what's some other like, Colorado game? Yeah. No, nah, I ain't see that view. Uh-uh. Uh, but that shit was right. That's that view right. That's stupid. He really bro. hit that. He really he really won the game two times straight. Yeah. That, Cause but it dropped the first one. Yeah. And then the second one, he, I was like, these niggas won like this. Hey, Sasha should do it, man. Sat eight yeah. times. Line didn't hold hold up. That's not we we next week, UCF, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be a but man. Okay. Y'all win that one. Y'all done won the same amount of games from last year. Yeah. But it won four, right? And this shit ain't never NCAA football, but I'm talking that nigga like a straight creative player. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that nigga, when that nigga rolled out there, man, he threw that bitch out there. I said, no, it'd be fun. In my mind, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Be funny then they catch this shit. Man, that nigga caught that hoe. I said, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but he number one pick this year. Damn. Right. Yeah. Unless Archman can come out. Got them. That nigga right there is the number one pick in the draft this year. Yeah, they got lucky with that one, man. I, I, I don't want to say lucky. I can't but say. It was a, it was behind that, the, behind it was two a short throw. On the receiver, and he, he concentrated. He was short. Perfect dark. He had short. to come back for it. So that's like. Everybody had to do their part. That it, was, nigga, it was a low. It was a low comeback. It was still a hell mayor, technically though. Yeah, it was still a hell. It was last play of the game. He threw it up there, and but it came back and got, got it, it for the touchdown. But it was still technically a hell mayor. I'm just saying that for him to, they basically ran the same damn play, and the first nigga missed it. I forgot his name. Uh, whatever the fuck, but Webster caught the second one. Yeah, and I was like, damn. And for him to get sacked eight times and not get disturbed, you know, you get sacked that many times, man, you lose a lot of confidence. You know what I'm saying? Especially as a quarterback, bro. I, now let's get the player of the game is Travis Hunter making that guy yeah, that, tackle. Fumble, that fumble. Yeah. When he got that one, I said they thought I could tackle. Yeah, and let's let's get something else straight. Travis Hunter is the Heisman Trophy front runner right now, easily. Yep. You can't even name nobody else who's in that picture right now. Yep. Travis Hunter, Everything. both sides of the football. You know he remind me of it's the Honey Badger. Yeah, he Tyron was. Matthew playing that that, that one solid. Hey man, he might be first pick in the draft. Yeah, he because he's having a hell of a like that he's an athlete. Crazy. That nigga's an athlete. I can't yeah, even call he's him. He's an athlete, man. Uh, that nigga, uh, he got to get a little stronger because you 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 let the cornerback ride your ass on one play straight out of fucking bounds. I was just like, oh no, nah, he can't allow that to happen. He got to get a little stronger. Um and and. Uh, Dion called it out after the pre- post press conference too, the same thing. But other than that, man, as an athlete, man, that nigga, that is hell, man. Both sides, you playing that much? Stop, let's stop with this shit. That y'all think this man gonna play both sides in the NFL like that? That it's not gonna happen. Like, stop. This they shit. gonna put him at one or the other. One or the other. He will play certain packages both ways. But bro, it's look, it's grown men on both sides of that football. Everybody in the NFL is good. Period. Y'all see what happened to Bryce Young right now? Y'all see this shit? He on yeah. Throwing across his body and shit. And every time he throw across his body, trying to run this way and throw it this way to pit. You can't do that shit in the NFL. Everybody is fucking 4-2, four, 4-3. Four, the linebacker's 4-5. You know what I'm saying? And you think this man for the play 30, you think the man for the play 60 snaps on both sides of the football when these niggas got bills to pay and these niggas. So you telling me you're going to go against Patrick Sertain Jr. and all them niggas on one side. And then on the other side, right. you're going to play Tyreek Hill and all these niggas. <laughs> Get the fuck out of it. Nobody has done that. He, Nobody has Somebody going to try it, though. Don't no, he's going to play both sides. Oh, let me make sure I make this perfectly clear. My bad. You, you cook out the day. He's going to play both sides of the ball. But he's not going to play both sides. He have not sat down for Colorado at all. He's played 143 snaps. Yeah, saw, yeah. shit. You're not doing that in the NFL with niggas that got to feed families and grown ass men, bro. You're going to get cooked one of the one of the other way. You're not sitting down at all. Because you think about NFL and the NBA, it's the, this, this the one big difference. In NBA, yes, you playing the game both ways. But guess what? We take the plays off and walk on this ball up court. On this end, the ball ain't coming to my man like that. You know, it's going to the other side of the court. I can chill. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. NFL, every play is full speed. Every single play. Not no halfway, every play, full speed. You're not guarding Tyreek Hill at cornerback and then coming back in to play wide receiver. And then on the other side, they number one cornerback is guarding you Ramsey. and you're going to be able to go full speed. This nah. is my, this is my and Ramsey guarding right. you. And you think you're going to cook Ramsey and hold Tyreek. Man, you can't get your ass <laughs> beat. The That's why I'm gonna ask you, what, is, what, what was his 40? What's his 40? Who, Travis Hunter? Yeah. I think like 4-3, 4-5, 4-5, 4-4, 4-3, something like that. 4-3. Okay, he's going to play defense. He's not playing no receiver in the NFL, no way. 
I would play receiver instead of cornerback. That's where the money at. Go yeah, it, that's where the money's yeah. at. But you know, you're not telling me he's fast enough to even do that. So now time ten, he's about to get in there. Crazy and try to be uh, up. Cooper Cooper Cup run, ran like a four five. Man, that, yeah, but Cooper Cup ran it, mostly like he, he's a great route runner. Right, right. No, I, I'm saying, but yeah. you but he run a four. Cooper Cup is an is a proven receiver in the NFL right now. We, yeah. We're not we're not judging. He just he didn't still come in college. Out of college approval. You, you didn't know he went out of college. I don't know what Cooper Cup went. But I, I didn't. But I, I, they weren't trying to make Cooper play all both, both sides, sides of the ball. football. That's what I'm he saying. He came in yeah. straight wide receiver, so I do. So therefore, he he could be a we specialist. We don't know what position this nigga yeah. gonna play. But I think if he plays defense, then they can let him play special teams and like turn kicks or yeah, shit. That's what I'm saying. Facts. But you think? But I just I feel like he he's aggressive enough to be a wide receiver. But then he got to he ain't gonna be no better than like Anquan Bolden. And not saying that's bad. Like Anquan Bolden good. That's what I'm yeah, yeah, he was good. When the good as a motherfucker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's good. I think fuck. I want to see them at cornerback, though. Who? Then I, I can see them being like Trayvon. an Ed Reed type. Because those are two players he remind me of. When he on offense, he remind me of an Aquan Bowler. When he on defense, he remind me of like an Ed Reed type player. He just so active as hell. Well, well corner, Ed Reed was safety. But I get what you're saying. Like, he's a ball hawk kind of. You know what I'm saying? Right, he's just I think like, he'll be a corner in special teams. No, nah, he ain't gonna play. He don't play special teams in Colorado, so he ain't gonna. He don't think he's gonna too much do special teams. But I, he either gonna play corner or wide receiver. Now his numbers is better at wide out, whether whether y'all want to believe it or not. He only got one interception this year, if I'm not mistaken. And I caught for 100 yards every fucking game. Yeah, so he's like, gonna play wide receiver probably. No, and the yeah. money is at wide out. He's gonna get 100 some million at wide out. Where he gonna gonna get 60 or some some million at cornerback. It's a better decision at the end of the day. Hey, I can yeah, really I play can wide receiver yeah. and yeah. get the check, yeah. and then I just play cornerback when I get ready. You see what I'm saying? So it's just a business. Here. Yeah, he. Well, he always has the opportunity to switch positions once he get there. Anyway, yeah. he can do whatever. He as long as he don't get cooked on defense, he gonna probably win the highest right now. Now it's early. I get it, and it depends on whether or not um, Colorado stay winning. Cause next week I'm telling you now, UCF gonna be a challenge, man, for them. You know what I'm saying? I, I, hey, look, more power to them for beating Baylor. Cause I said the week before that they're gonna have, some, they did still have problems up front than a motherfucker. The man got sacked eight, eight times. times. Baylor just had mental breakdown. There's no way in the fuck that that's supposed to have been a touchdown. That that I'll get two through. people. Not supposed to happen. Bro, that was that, that like shit that. like NCAA, like that. We got ten dollars on the game. We send that, that nigga through a lab. That nigga throw that bitch on that. And nigga be that. Nigga, throw the control down. He mad as fuck out. Yeah, that one's supposed to happen. That, like, like, that type of point. A win is a win now. I'm glad Colorado won. I, yeah. Trust me, I'm not trying to take that away from them. I'm just saying that was a mental breakdown shit. They was fucking goddamn Shadur up. Eight sacks in the game? Yeah. They was fucking Shadur up. How many yards he threw for? I don't know. I, I ain't even look. The most I'm, thing I get from Shadur, he's definitely mentally tough. Oh, he's mentally tough. I ain't never seen no nigga get. Now, I'm telling you, bro, most quarterbacks. He know he ain't got an offensive line at all. He don't care. He don't give a fuck. Most quarterbacks take eight sacks, bro. I'm telling you, confidence is fucked. Yeah. That two in the stuff. Bryce man. Young. Bryce, man, Bryce Young out there running for your life. But see, let me tell you what Bryce Young is. He's always had a good offensive line. That's my point. Until he got to the pro. You got you got all these niggas you throwing to in, in Alabama. Yeah. Goddamn I mean, wild all the motherfuckers. You could be a little ass nigga as long as you got everybody out here running a full flat and goddamn but I got the what, biggest though? niggas in but America. Now you don't have nobody to throw to. Huh? Okay. Now it's all on you. And then guess what? That comes from being a black QB. You only got two years if you're black. Yeah, they ain't going to let you develop years, it, you got You about to be done deuce did something. We done seen Sam Darnold sit up there. We done seen Zach Wilson sit on the jet for four, three or four years. Well, Sam Donald ain't starting. Uh, but but he was when he went to. Uh, I think he only started two years. What? It, it, Sam uh, Donald. He only started two years. They got his ass. He ain't starting now. Oh, uh, Zach yeah. Wilson only started two years over at the Jets. They got his ass up out of there now. Now, I do. Not, uh, Zach Wilson did about three, didn't it? Maybe two or three. I, I'm, not, I'm just saying. Now, let's go to the other end. Let's go to the black quarterbacks. Look at man. Jabin Wilson was fucking up for a long time now. Jamie Winston. Jamie Winston was, man, they was over there eating W's and all type of dumb shit. Man, they but he'll back up. That's what he's need to be. Yeah, yeah, nah, he deserves If you backup. eating W's out your own hand, you a backup. But me. we done seen Daniel Jones up there suck ass. Okay, so now with the Daniel Jones situation, that's a little different. Like, okay. Maybe he shouldn't have been starting for the long as he has. That's, that's one situation. Herbert. I, Herbert ain't did shit. Who, just Herbert? He no, he, he gonna be starring. Just Herbert ain't had no bad. He ain't had no, no horrible years and no shit. But what has he done? There's a lot of Cobras that ain't did shit, but but like a starter for 32 teams, Justin Herbert definitely good enough to be a starter. I mean, I know I'm saying, but like, what has like, he done? Like, because that's the case, we need to go to sit Aaron Rodgers down. 
what, what, what we're doing now. You hurt your ankle one year. You threw two picks. You threw, you, 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 you didn't get us past the goddamn the, the first round of the playoffs one year. Like, what are we doing now? Like, like, he didn't play that year. No, this he did. He threw across his body and he incompleted that pass to goddamn um your boy who went to the Raiders and Aaron, and everybody blamed Aaron Rodgers because it was his fault. That, so that, why the hell you didn't just run that ball into the damn? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 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 let's not act like like I'm just saying in general. It's been situations where black quarterbacks got they got their chance and they supposed to got their chance. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they fuck up, sometimes they don't. You know what I'm saying? Like okay, Ty- Tyrod Taylor still in the NFL right now. He ain't star. But he's still in the league, right? Yeah. He's still getting his chance. He's still getting his chance to play. And then Dalton's still in the league. He's not a starter. He's a backup, right? Tyrod Taylor's a backup. I agree. But you saying that you're making a point for, like, if it was a black quarterback, that would have been set. I'm just saying, get up, give me a, a decent situation. Jameis Winston, su- Winston sucks, bro. But he don't start. But he sucks. Hey, it was one year. They trashed the nothing but white boys in the first round. And all them niggas ain't starting. All them niggas gone. Tim Josh Couch, Rosen. Where he at? Josh Rosen. What are we talking about, man? Uh, Darn Tim Boyle. They, they're gone. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. We, we had the first week of the NFL season where more than half of the teams was black quarterbacks. We have no room to complain yeah, about black niggas not getting a chance. Only what white, white quarterbacks are good. That. Damn them. Ain't nobody first, but Joe Burrow. Which is it's fucking fire. Like, and, let's get real. No, nah, I just named the white quarterbacks that I think good. Like, Joe you know Burrow. You know what I'm saying? He, he, yeah, good. Joe Burrow good. Uh, motherfucker. Josh yeah. Allen. Nah, I know. I'm not gonna put him up there yet. It's another nigga before Josh Allen. But that cracker name, but yeah, I, yeah, ca- I said Burrow? cracker too. Huh? Joe Burrow? <laughs> yeah, besides yeah, Joe Burrow, it's another it's Burrow another cracker. Cold, man. Huh? Joe Burrow cold though. Yeah, that, that's my number one cracker oh. for the Bengals. But uh, six hey. my number one cracker for the Bengals. Hold on, what other crackers is? You heard this shit. That nigga crazy, crazy, man. Not Aaron Rodgers, guy. He up there. He ain't talking about shit right now. Joe Burrow, Josh hey. Allen. Who else? Because there ain't that Bo many white Nicks. boys that are even starting. That's what I'm saying. It should have been easy for me to name this shit. Shit, Will Lewis. Man, who the hell is that? Starting for the Times. Man, we don't know him. Uh, your boy, a Jaguar, Trevor Lawrence. Ain't no, this me shit. No, me talking about him. Man. Come on. It, it, it's somebody. Uh, uh, Derek Carr? Derek Carr. No, we ain't Saints. talking about his goofy ass. What's your point? I don't know. But what my point is... Uh, Fuck them cracker, man. Cut. <laughs> God, no matter. Look, I packed my home. Probably gonna win again and all that goof shit. Nah, I, let's say let's get on them Falcons, man. Look at them, man. Them boy played. I, this is a straight up unbiased opinion. I'm just keeping the shit real. Them boy played immaculate football. Kirk Cousins just couldn't get a job done. Defense held up, held them nigga to 22 points. Really, I want to help them nigga by 17. What the fuck it was? Yeah. Because because. Only thing they had to do was kick the fucking field goal. They held and stopped Kansas City and, and get the ball back and kick another fucking field goal. They would have won the game. Bro, I said that shit before it happened. And 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 motherfuckers online trying to act like that shit. No, the Falcons defense stopped them three stopped. time in a row. Kyle three. Pitts, boy, you a fucking beast, nigga. Like and that big was plays. A PI. That was a pass defense. That was a pass defense. Uh, I'm gonna I'm say this last week. Brock Bowers, nigga. I knew you was good in college. But God damn, that nigga that the truth too, man. Like in the NFL, like he's yeah, but tone that motherfucker, tone that motherfucker. But nah, man, Falcons. I give you, I say that skeet about him. They should have won that game last night. That was just bad coach. I told you, I told you why we ain't gonna win. What, what I keep saying why we ain't gonna win? Till we put that boy, on that, we gotta put that nigga in there, man. Who? Atlanta ain't gonna be right till you put that nigga in there, man. Jamal the the backup. Yes. Why? Cause we can't win because we did what we did, Michael Vick. We have a hell look, no. Listen, uh, uh, we have a uh, curse Pence? on us. Yeah, yeah, Pence, Pence. Yeah. I'm, I'm tripping. Man, look, y'all we, is tripping like fuck. Bro. We have a curse on us in that line. When no, we, we did Michael Vick like that, bro, y'all didn't do Michael Vick like shit. Fight. Mm-hmm. We ain't had no good luck. But Ski, let me just ask you: this. If you give me sixty million dollars and I go to jail, you, we for stuck by, right? We for stuck by, cause and did what? This pre Diddy type shit, hey, bro. You gonna stick hey, by this now, nigga, Matt, Matt, Matt Ryan did take him to the Super Bowl. That and and look what happened to him. Got us <laughs> all the way there. No, we gonna solve this and shit we, today. And, and <laughs> if, if, if I give you sixty million dollars, skinny, you go to jail. I love you, but you are fired. No, then a motherfucker. What the fuck? I mean, <laughs> gee, I you like give it. me sixty million dollars and say do this, and I go to prison tomorrow. What job in America you ain't fired? I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you this, man, to your face, man. We gonna have to fall out, buckle your ass fired. Bro. You fired as fuck. So, <laughs> I, I just, so you just get the ride 
three, four years in prison with my sixty. You ain't did. You I ain't, don't know one job in America, bro. <laughs> you ain't even start the job. Nig nigga, nigga, the job, nigga. You can get, you nigga, you can get arrested over the weekend. Get out on Sunday. Go to job on Monday. They pulling you to the office on Monday, saying, "Yeah, we know what happened on you on Saturday now." And then you gonna work all day. They gonna pull you in office after Dang. they find out. They could let that nigga went to prison during the week. And look, got him out on the look. Look, you sound crazy. You sound crazy. Why you think Ryan's balling right now? And what we ain't gonna and what we ain't gonna do is not act like that Matt Ryan took the Falcons to higher heights than Michael Vick ever. Yes. That's no all curse, I was saying. Bro. He took them there. Ain't no and I just he want y'all Falcons game. fans to realize this, right? Mike, uh, 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 your backup, right? The rookie, you all want to come in there, got hurt in the national championship game. So that's why he really ain't starting. That's your future. Y'all can put your future in, you know why? Because y'all have a weak right tackle. He is left handed. He won't see that. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? And he already fragile right now. He got hurt in the national championship. Now. And they gave Kirk Cousins too much money, too. So but, and, the GM will be the first thing to go. That's I, I appreciate you for actually saying what it really is. Who done paid this crack? Man, that ain't the GM going to be the first thing that to go. That was a terrible play call. And you won the supposed to be in that particular No, no not, not, not in the game. The game is, that's factual. I'm talking about like. The reason, like, like right. when it comes to Michael Pence and Kirk Cousins, that GM is gonna be the first person to go because one, after they made their pick for Mike uh, Pence, I remember Arthur Blank came in there talking to him like, "What the fuck is you doing?" Because we just paid Kirk Cousins all this upfront money, and now we gotta pay this motherfucker as a new, as a new uh, first round, pick. first round pick. So that's gonna be an issue coming up soon. Okay, you could have got an offensive lineman. You could got anything for Kirk Cousins or not make that pick for Michael Pence. That was kind of crazy. So now nah, I agree with you on that. He he ain't playing because one he got hurt. Whatever the situation was with that, and the Falcons they don't look bad. I'm just gonna keep it real. They look good, man. Against the Super Bowl, bro, that was scary. I think I think Patrick Mahomes in the press conference was like. That was a hard fought win. You know what I'm saying? Right. Falcons right. could have won that, bro. Bad coaching, bro. Bad coaching. Yeah. Yeah. But I was say I feel like Raheem Morris got him. You know what I think he done did? I don't think them boys been at Magic City lately. He got he got him out of there, man. Got him out of them strokes. I'm telling you, the the coach just pulled the Detroit Lions. He was greedy. He tried to go for it every time. Yeah, I don't know why he did. Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. My defense just stopped these four twice. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know why you did that. Kick this field goal, make it 20 to 22. Mm. Then guess what? Boom, you stop the ad right there. Now, shout out to Denzel Cameron, who wrote coming on my thing. He said, football is a game of uh, field position. And he said, if you would have uh, kicked the field goal, you wouldn't be in that position. But you would have still stopped them. This is my reply to you. You would have still stopped them because football is also a game of rhythm. Y'all done stopped them three times in a row. Your defense is hot. Tap your mic real quick. Damn. Yeah, now you working. All right. It's all good. But, no, nah, I agree with you on that. You know what I'm saying? It, man. I thought I might make the playoff, man. Yeah, I, know I, like, early. I, I know it's early. Yeah, but I, the I Saints look good, too, though. Saints look good. Saints, now they, did they lose yesterday? Yeah, yeah. but Tampa Bay look yeah. good. The, I can say this. The NFC South is no longer the weakest division. Conference in the NFC. No, they yeah. ain't the weakest one more. Ain't, ain't no way. Ain't no way y'all can keep saying that because. It might be the Eagles, Cowboys, and Redskins. Yeah. They, they, they. Facts. Kind of, Facts. The Commanders ain't talking about shit. Yeah, My go, bad. I, I said damn Redskins. They need to go, they need to go to goddamn. Fire Dak, man, or something, man. CD over there going crazy on Dak while the camera's rolling. Look, one thing you don't do, one thing I learned from other wide receivers talking and shit, because I ain't up in the NFL, you don't show up to quarterback. I remember Ocho Cinco told a story about how he got mad that um, Carson Palmer didn't throw in the ball, and he did this shit on the field and this and that. He said Carson Palmer walked up to him and said, he was looking straight ahead, Ocho right here. You know how like a nigga walk up to you, he talking this way, but you right here. And he said, Carson Palmer told him, like, you listen real quick. Now he looking this way, not looking at Ocho, because he don't want the cameras to know he talking I'm to him sure like that. Like, yeah. So he was like, you listen real quick. Don't you ever throw up your hands like that no more when I'm, when I'm playing quarterback. You won't never get the fucking ball again, I promise you that. And you won't never damn play another down for this team. Say Ocho said, oh, damn. <laughs> like, yeah. like, yeah, okay, my bad, I'm sorry. Shannon Shaw said the same thing. You don't show up to a quarterback, man. Yeah. And for CD to go over there doing all that shit, it, to me what it looked like, like showing up that and that your ass sorry now. 
Like, hey, you know, finesse the hell out the cowboy now. But and Jerry Jones, we got to talk about you talking about these nigga dick size too, man. Pause. Okay, man. yeah, fuck. Look, look. Pause, B. Hey, man. With Jamie what Paul the, trying to cut off that live that quick. Now, right there. <laughs> look, I'm going to play this thing. Now, look, I, I was not going to bring it up. Yeah. Now. Okay, I'm talking. I'm listening. I'm listening. Why does this revert strangely back to this, what we were talking about earlier? Hey, man. <laughs> this Dittler situation, the plot's <laughs> thick is, bro. The plot really is thick is. <laughs> what made Jerry, first of all, what made Jerry Jones so comfortable telling that shit to Jamie? Okay, so now, now, okay, let, let's, let's, let's talk about this. Hold on, tell the story first. So, Jamie Foxx was going live, uh, Jerry Jones right there beside him. Nah, I, the, for what I saw, what I heard, I mean, you know, Jamie Foxx, you know, he's going live, Jerry, you know, this is that. I ain't hear him asking that. I just see, I just hear Jerry Jones. Yeah, that, that motherfucker's six or seven mates, nine and three fourths, nine and nine inches. And that's somebody got a big old dick, 12 inches. Like, Shit like that, swear to God. Jimmy Fox ass over there. You know, nigga face start looking like that in the line. Like that shit. Cut that bitch off, swear that to God. Nigga said, that nigga said that nigga over the 93. <laughs> swear to God. Boy, that is wild, Paul. <laughs> swear that to God. is wild. Bro. You see it, right? Yeah, nigga I just all blue. That's why I'm gonna tell you now, measurement. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. No, no, that was no message. Nigga, this nigga sitting right there watching. First of all, what do Jamie Fox got to do with the cowboy? Second of all, He's that ain't, that ain't the first time Jerry done wait, told wait, you wait, how big wait, and wait, little dick was. Let me, let me cut you off for you. Keep going. He's from Texas. I, okay, I, I don't care. I'm, just I, I'm from Georgia. That, Arthur I, Blank ain't never brought I, me I, to the Cowboys. Do you the know what a Cowboys you know cowboy fan is? No, nah, I just talk shit. Though. But, uh, <laughs> okay, but you know, like, yeah, I'm, I'm putting my spin in my own narrative. But, okay, nah, well, I, I, hold on, I'm just I'm just go ahead. What what makes that nigga Jerry Jones feel so comfortable saying? Because he's done said that shit to that nigga before, probably. Or he knows what supposedly Jamie likes allegedly. No, nah, I can't say that, Ski. But, but, only, hey, only, only, only reason, only, I ain't, you're not gonna say that. Say, hey, Ski, man, who got a fine nigga with just that nigga dunk on a thousand niggas. That People nigga swing on Jerry. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Right? Like, why do you? Why, why would I care? I'm how not swing on. Let, let, let's, let's go into. Let's go down this rabbit hole. I'm gonna go down this rabbit hole with you real quick. Yeah. Amen. All right. So, we, so, we had so, like we never heard so, about so Jamie. So you never sit sit beside somebody and then that person start talking crazy. Shout out to Kruger. Cause I go around this nigga all the time. Okay, he says some wild ass that's like, that's shit. Bad example, you gonna win that argument right now? No, I'm oh, just saying we, we can't. Like life don't happen. No, no, life happens. But look, all right, let's say this. But dig say no, 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 no. We, no, we're not even gonna get that part. We're not even there yet. All right, all right. Allegedly, have we not hey, heard man. about Jamie Foxx parties? Have you ever? Have y'all never not heard about a Jamie Foxx party? If you haven't, then you haven't. Okay, I, I respect. It. I have it. You have it. Hey, you ain't never heard it. Hey, have you ever heard about it? So, so now we putting. No, I'm just putting, asking. Now, you now we saying that Jamie. So now we saying that something came out of another man's mouth. Is Jamie Foxx's fault? But listen, I'm not saying that. All I'm saying. Well, is, I said we, allegedly. Do, I don't what, know. Do I'm, asking know. The, I'm asking you. What we know? Question. Ain't nobody never stuck beside a cup and just start shouting out. And my mama told me to tell you this shit too, because she said <laughs> she she told me to tell you this. <laughs> she, <laughs> said, she, she said she she said she. I'm going to tell her. She said, she said, she said, we were talking about how Shannon got a gay stylist and all that shit last week, this and that. She said, get what, 10 years ago, y'all nigga wouldn't be walking around with pocketbooks on. That shit would look at his zesty. Yeah. Gina said that shit on his podcast before. From the boondock. Yeah. How you not wore a, how you not wore a pocketbook before? I've never worn a pocketbook. How you ever wore a crossbody before, Ski? Yes or no? The, I've wore the pops, yes. Okay, not 10 years ago was niggas not walking around with crossbodies and shit, trying to like that shit not cool. Do we not see people still to this day? Still online saying why niggas walk around with crossbodies. I just seen two chains with a picture up. I can go down his his t with him with a crossbody on. Now I understand. See, I move with the times. I understand y'all niggas put pistols in them bitches. I understand y'all niggas put weed in them. That's why I don't have a problem with niggas doing the shit. I don't want you to think it's me. I don't give a shit. I don't even give it. I don't even think niggas wearing fingernails is zesty. I don't give a shit. Would I do it? No. But what I'm saying is that you cannot pick and choose what you feel like is zesty when you do zesty shit to other niggas. Because that mean, shit is technically zesty no, to no, older no, no, motherfuckers. No, no, no. You got a damn post like that. This shit is not zesty. Now we got the big ski. fucking Stop pocket shit, book ski. hanging Stop off of you. Shit, yes, that's zesty. Ski. Or if you're wearing this shit ski. on your shoulder like a fucking... Okay, no, so, 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 no, I'm not talking about you. Let's just keep it to, to reality and, and, oh, yeah, and life. That, that, so, that's so, my reality. Okay, no, 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 no. Was, you, was it not a time in your life when you weren't wearing no damn, no, no cross pops? Yes or no? In your, life, no, no, in your knows. life, was it not a time that you wasn't wearing a cross pouch around your body? That's all I'm asking. You yes said no. that I wasn't? Or that was. you wasn't. Yes. Greg, you is the most 
goddamn, you ain't going for none of this shit. In your lifetime, did you not think that a nigga that wore a cross pouch was, was zesty? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, then. We ain't talking about nothing that's not crazy. What I'm saying is, I'm not saying that it do mean that you zesty. I'm just saying it was motherfuckers in, in, in the black community, because I can go down two chains page right now, where they thought that niggas that wore cross pouches was zesty. Cup, am I not lying? Yeah. Me and Cup had an argument one time where we thought niggas that was wearing goddamn uh, stack pants was, was crazy looking. Yeah. I wear them to this day. Time changes is what I'm saying. But you, I'm not you, you, you got to worry about You said that. You said crap. No. Nigga, you got to be specific. Because you know, niggas, it's niggas walking around with real pocketbooks on. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not even. That, I, 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 I personally believe a pocketbook, it looks crazy. But guess what? That ain't nothing but a rearrangement of how big a size of fucking crotch pops is. A pocketbook ain't nothing but a bigger goddamn crotch. If we be real. But listen, I, I agree with him. And we be real. We just keeping it funky now. The, 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 the way we look at men and women, technically, a man only supposed to have what? A wallet. Wallet. That's it. A big ass, a, a, a purse. A, 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 a purse. Unless, a, a, unless you got a... A, a, a regular a real fold. A, 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 a bit, what they call it, a bill fold. Yeah, a bill fold. Bill. <laughs> what, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, 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 but me and yeah. you the same man, we can't act like that ain't what, what was up. You know this shit. Like, I know this shit. I ain't sitting up here saying oh, no, nothing I'm about... Not, I'm not saying, bro, I'll be the first one to say it. And then everyone's like, man, you can't, you can't call them nigga. Uh, but but do you not understand? That's what I always... I ain't gonna lie. You ain't gonna lie. The way I look that shit, I would've never thought... I would see a nigga at the register, and when it's time to pay for something, and then nigga doing this shit, over, zip, unzip, reach in. Nigga doing this. What the fuck, bro? What are we doing? Bro? I don't lie. I don't lie. I don't lie, Skid. We nineties babies, never, nigga. You, know, you, think, you think about it from from a worldly perspective. The only people who's supposed to be unzipping shit is the female. Yeah. With their purse. The reach in to grab whatever they need to grab. Not a that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That shit be looking crazy. I see a nigga unzip some shit and then reach in for something. Why you used to just. Grabbing it from what, the back. You grab your bill phone. You, you like and get what niggas do. Get what niggas yeah. do, man. They got the pistol in here, so it really ain't. Like, it was one time when niggas wore skinny jeans would look at it zesty. Yeah. Yeah. And I so, we, so, so we can't pick and choose it because yeah. we choose to follow to a, a trend of shit going on. We move with the times. So That's all I'm saying. I'm, bro, I swear to God, I'm not saying nothing is wrong with none of that shit. I just up and told you. I don't think niggas, that, bro, nigga come in, come in where I work at all the time with fingernails painted. I said on this podcast, I said, man, little baby got his fingernail painted. Only reason I said that because to combat what you were saying about goddamn Shay Shay. We cannot sit up and pick and choose. Oh, that nigga got a gay this, or this nigga got a gay that, or did this and that. But then we sit up and try to make an excuse for other shit that when we was little, we looked at as fucking weird. We did. When I was 10, 12, 13, even into our 20s, we was not going to the 20 grand with a fucking cross pouch on. God damn, talking about some shit, I'm gonna get my weed real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we were wasn't doing that. that. You know what we were and, doing? And, hold on, and, hold on. We, and when Lil Wayne came out with them goddamn skinnies, that shit was looked at as zesty. we not gonna sit up and tell that story. Man, that Lil Wayne got leggings on. I could type in that shit right now, Lil Wayne got leggings on. But all I'm saying is times change, and then we start saying, okay, that don't mean a nigga gay, yeah. or that don't mean this person this, or that don't mean this person that, this, yeah. this and that. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. We, we pick and choose what we choose to say. Oh, that shit zesty. Ten years from now, it's going to be, man, shit, niggas sitting in other niggas' laps, and we're going to be trying to figure out, we're going to be trying to say, man, that shit ain't really zesty. That nigga didn't have nowhere to sit. He ain't <laughs> had nowhere to sit at, bro. I mean, it's, it's a lot of shit. Like, when I was a kid, like, I used to think, Nigga with a, a a lip piercing was gay. Right. All I'm saying is it was shit back in the day. Niggas had tongue really shit. Now when we were kids though, bro, you know you looked at that shit like what the fuck wrong with that bro, nigga? Why you think people were talking about Dennis Rodman so bad? Bro, look, we look Ooh, at a yeah, lot of shit like yeah. like it, like it sweet as hell and gay. But when I say somebody this is that's your gay shit, the first thing y'all want to tell me, you got you got proof. How you know that? We go through all that, but we're just gonna automatically say the fanny the fanny pack is gay. Okay, look. I, you know what? I remember I, no, I, I said was time, I said it was a time where well, yes, look, 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 look back weird. in the day, guess what? We was wearing tall tees, big ass shorts, and got them soldiers or some, some fresh air, high top Air Force One, mm -hmm. shit like that. Nobody wears that big shit. Well, like, well they're starting back to wear the same. You ain't doing them making my point. All shit does is recycling. You ain't doing them but making my point. I just set up and said yeah. time changes. I just said he that. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying, that don't change. Now it just serves shit. That no, that shit's just overly zesty. You're not gonna tell me what don't change. Way is not overly zesty. What what don't change? Because because you set up and say niggas paint their fingernails don't change. Prince was painting his shit back then. No, that's what, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm talking about niggas like oh, 
Dwayne Wade was presented to us. I thought Wade. Prince was okay. So and now was, this uh, shit that exactly. he's exactly. But get what you say that shit to my mama. My mama goes up and defend him like hell. We sit up and pick and choose who we want to defend. Yep. That's all I'm telling up and saying. Well, and I'm just, I'm just Prince saying, had his ass out. Yeah, I got. Well, no, I'm not. The gonna fuck say the thug do? Thug wore a dress. <laughs> but no, but Prince had his ass cut. So they, so they got them Grand Central Station. So they got them George Clinton. Nigga, I know my shit. Out. You know what? Yes. You know what? Listen. What he said is true, man. We, we do pick we and pick choose. We pick and choose, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying nothing that's crazy. Listen. I don't know none of them niggas. Who you just said? All them, all them niggas. But I'm not saying nothing. Bro, all I'm saying is that I understand how the world works and how life moves. If I'm not going to make a super, super strong take on somebody just because they do. Oh, that nigga. The reason they said Unk was gay because he walked, jumped out the truck and he got badass knees and somebody took a picture of how he was standing for 0.1 seconds and said this shit look wild. If I talk, if I play that video for you straight through, you couldn't even find a moment because he's moving in frame. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So he shit with what? What the fuck did he have on? A cross, a, a cross pouch. Yep. Did he not? And he was holding it. And he was and holding the fucking with cross with pouch. Legs, and nigga, like that's all he did. And we saying, and we, and we saying, <laughs> and we saying that, and we saying that, oh, it's this or this. Now Dwayne Wade, I, look, bro, I've always said I felt like he was a little zesty. I felt like he didn't get zesty until Gabrielle Union came around. That's oh, just my on, personal let's, opinion. Let's but what I call the nigga yeah. gay, that's different. No, I'm not gonna say the nigga. We don't say he gay. He might just like to get super freaky with women. But listen, I knew the nigga was zesty. When she went on a live interview and said she eat his butt, and he ain't never said nothing about it. See, I don't know all about all nah, that. Nah, these are facts. I, uh, she like, I, 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 I saw what you talking about. I'm, I'm not making this shit up, bro. Look, look. She said she eat his ass, and he ain't never said Allegedly, because it may be AI, but G right, she did say that. I saw that. She did say that. He ain't never said nothing about it? Yeah, he didn't say nothing about it. It's in a book, too, ain't it? Yeah, I think so. She got a book. Yeah. yeah. And all I'm saying is, that's oh, what, go ahead. But, 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 this is what I'm about to say. I feel like, don't attack me for what these niggas I do. I didn't like. attack like, you. No, 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 no. This is what I'm, I'm saying. I'm just debating you know the point. Y'all, y'all give a question. I'm going to give my opinion. I, I'm sorry that maybe my opinion may be like overly like, that, yeah. That's I, not I, true, though. What, what you mean that's not true about my opinion? What? No, we will ask you a question and you will just call on game. Yeah, you did huh. crazy. Well, yeah. I mean, look, that you know. I what? watched it the second time. Like, yeah, Skeet. Just okay, but look, crazy. This, this is me. <laughs> it, it wasn't I, even my, a question. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> question. hold on. What then? This is me. Uh, I was under the influence. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one was on I, a I, double I, no, play you know, you know, motherfucker. I, no, but I'm telling you, uh, what what I did uh, was what every regular nigga see when he saw that picture. That's what a nigga thought. Like, what the fuck? That shit looks wild. But that's what happened when you freeze frame certain shit, like you said, you freeze frame. Anybody who's trying to put out a certain narrative or spin a certain shit certain way, God damn it, it's gonna look that way. Mm. I can't help. They, they was trying to spin a narrative on uh, cause he let Cat get up there and do what he did. But you were nobody fun. cared about who his stylist was until after the interview, right? Mm. I didn't know who the fuck was putting on uh, clothes. I didn't even think uh, put no clothes on. <laughs> shit, uh, they look like he be got them fresh. But you were far. No, I went far because guess what? You, you, be down the you asked a question and I just said, hey man, I looked. This shit looked wild. And, and I saw the game and I saw the boy with the other football player. Now, I, I, so you know what? Two plus two is four. Now, I That's how I looked at it at that now, moment. Now, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have went to the game with him. Like I said, I let my like I said, I, I let my mama watch some of the shit, but she said some real shit too. She said, how y'all didn't know that he was taking him to the game because he had took everybody else to the game and he told you he was gonna take him to the game. It could be anything that went on behind the scenes for him to have to take that to take his uh to take his style to the game. He could have promised everybody on his team that hey, I'm gonna take y'all to the game. But this now, I'm like, damn. She's like, y'all. She told me she was like, y'all better watch what y'all say now. Y'all gonna block a lot of y'all blessings now from, from that, this, the look, shit blowing up. I'm like, damn. I ain't even thinking about that. What? It should block no blessing if you already know that the internet is trying to spin a narrative on you. Like I'm sitting here saying it right now, like. She nigga, said that too. When you when you throw a picture out there like that, and then you just ask a nigga, especially a nigga like me, I'm gonna tell you what the fuck I think. Like, boy, that shit look crazy as hell. But what the hell he got going on right now? Now, what I feel, Unc Shinna did, he shouldn't have let the shit got to him. Guess what? They could take a crazy picture of me sitting beside you, right? Or, or you take a, they could take a crazy picture of you sitting beside me. Man, them boys, boy, that shit don't look right. First thing I'm like, nigga, fuck you. Nigga, ain't nobody gay over here. Nigga, we, we fuck hoes or some shit like that. Like, nigga, you're not going to make me stop being cool with my nigga because of a picture that you froze for a second. Mm -hmm. I felt like that's where the real problem came in. It ain't that because you had this nigga <coughs> with you. No, it's because you went ahead and fired his ass. 
Yeah, I'm so not, you I'm gave people more to talk about, like, shit, well, what you fired for? I get you you could that. win for losing, so just don't even play the game. I, I get you on that. I mean, I agree with you on that. Cat told you what the fuck was going to happen. One thing, too, that I was just like, damn. She was like, uh, she was like, make sure you tell Skeet this, too. She was like, uh, how many times I think he, they took a picture of him get, getting out of a truck? I'm like, I don't know. She was like, or did they take a picture of him get out of a truck just because he's Shay Shay now? And I was like, I don't know. She was like, do you think that would have mattered if he was just still playing football? I'm like, nah, they probably wouldn't. She said he done went to another level, and now they're looking for anything because his name was in the algorithm to go crazy. If I could make him seem this way, whoever did that shit and posted that shit online, same way with LeBron wearing the skirt shit. Everybody that didn't know that shit was fake until I sent y'all that article. And it I said that that, that, it said that website it. actually makes AI shit to... To to make to, to to get clicks and likes and shit like that. That's all I'm saying. And I'm just saying that we gotta remember we moving with the times, bro. Like, like certain yeah. shit that was looked at, it's mm. crazy when we was little, bro. Yeah. Look here, bro, I ain't never said nothing to you about putting that shit on. I, I feel like shit that's just a part of style. Nigga, nigga, I got a fucking a duffel bag, nigga, that I'm gonna put on in the wintertime with this with this long trench goddamn black and white coat that I'm gonna wear. That back in the day I wouldn't have did. But guess what? It's style now. It's 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 fashion and shit like that. Somebody come up and say, "My nigga got a bag on." I'm I'm waiting to tell Cup boy, take this motherfucker, boy. I got this shit on today. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so don't think I'm just coming at you about shit. But I'm just putting it in perspective so you understand. Because you all, me and G, same era, bro. We wasn't doing that, bro. We just wasn't. We all grew up at the same time playing basketball at the youth center. We all was doing that. We wasn't putting that shit on. We wasn't wearing, nigga, I wore a fucking, I wore a fucking one time, you remember this picture, me grip, nigga, I wore a motherfucking cooking, cooking uh, uh, apron one time to the club. You know what I'm saying? Didn't give a fuck what nobody thought. I can show you the picture. Leather, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt like that was fashion at the time. And I'm just saying that we, we sitting up here judging motherfuckers. Gay is attraction to the opposite, to the same sex, bro. We cannot judge that on what a motherfucker wears. Zesty, you got me. Because that don't mean he gay. That just means he doing some goddamn metrosexual looking ass shit. If Greg go in that, in that bathroom or Cup go in that bathroom and be in that mirror for two hours, I'm like, boy, your ass acting real zesty right now, boy. <laughs> but get your ass out that mirror, boy. Oh, I get what they say. Oh, I'm sorry. Cause they want them. Y'all want to apologize to Unk right now? No. Nah. Oh fuck, say nigga. I don't care about it. Look, I, I'm not calling the nigga gay for it. But it's a lot of zesty activity out here. And I do with zesty, but you it, did call him. <laughs> but I said I'm sorry about it. Yeah, but, was, but you keep saying you didn't do it, and then you say you're sorry. Though you, well, I mean, because I did do it. But I'm saying, like, I, but see, as long as he keep fucking with me about it, I'm uh, no, not fucking with you about going that. that I, 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 no, I'm but talking see, about. But I'm, I'm saying it, he should have never been in that goddamn picture. And if since you was in the goddamn picture, then you should have been mad enough with your bitch swole ass not to find that nigga, not be weak minded, and what the internet fucking says when cat. Hold your ass when you did that interview and let him blast all these niggas that was gonna come for can you. I, can I ask you one question? Am, am, did I lie about anything I just said right there? Excuse me. Can you answer that one question? I, never, you I, never, dis I never disagree with you or anything. Okay, I'm just, I'm, just argue, I'm just arguing with you cultural changes in, in there. But market. we all know it's cultural change. Look, look, I used to wear a big ass coogee. Now look at my pant lid. Yeah. We would never want no Adidas basketball shoes. What I got on my feet right now? Adidas basketball. Listen, we're crazy. That shit's not even a thought. Oh, I'm gonna get them new Adidas shoes. No, nigga, we're gonna go get them Nike, some Jays, some shit like that. Bro, we said the boom docks. They told us what yeah. everything was gonna get broken. No, out. I'm just saying. You, you, you just. I'm just saying that you mentioned that sometimes you go down that rabbit hole, and we, I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just letting you know that you know that sometimes we gotta watch what we gotta think about what we're saying. But some this of the is things, just what, this thing too. Because some this of, is not CNN. This is not NBC News. Mm -hmm. This is bad fucking speakers. Mm -hmm. You're going to get some shit you don't want to hear sometimes from over here. Because I'm not trying to be a politician. I'm not trying to overly goddamn worry about nobody's feelings on that motherfucker. Like, because they're not going to worry about mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm not NBC. I'm not Dateline. That's why I say allegedly and maybe and shit like that. I don't have to overly research these motherfuckers like that. Mm -hmm. I agree with you on that. But we have to sit up and I have to give you pushback on that. Whether it's Greg, whether it's Cup, whether it's you or me, because some fact is people come to watch us to get our views and opinions on shit. Your opinion may be your opinion is your opinion, but you can't sit up and say place that opinion on somebody. And then I can come back and say, well, you do this, Cup, you paint your nails, Greg, you got them or whatever. I do not paint. My I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not saying. You literally do. I'm just saying. We we all do shit that we yeah. wouldn't have did before. I like to keep old fashioned. Some shit, y'all know. I do some shit sometimes. I'm like, man, why the hell should I do that shit? 
or why I did this and that. I ain't gonna lie to you. If I get to the point where I'm making a lot of money, I would probably would get you. You said something last week. You was like, uh, uh, you wouldn't. You, I could dress myself or whatever. Look, man, ain't nobody trying to dress like the old ass fifty five year old niggas, man. These niggas putting on McDonald's t shirts and all type of shit. Man. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it keep it above. If I got some money and I'm fifty five years old, the last thing I want to think about is what I'm wearing the next day. I would I would probably if I got millions of dollars, I would probably would get a stylist to lay out me shit that I could pick from and what I want to wear. And I'm not making that excuse for Shannon or whatever, but I'm I'm gonna sit up and say this. I don't think him at fifty five can pick shit for him to make his brand bigger. At his level, for people to be like, oh, I want to be more like Shay Shay or this, or it's like Shannon and shit like that. So I think that's what his logic was behind that. I agree with you. Could he not pick somebody who wasn't gay? You got me. I'm not disagreeing with you on that. I'm not sitting up and saying, do the picture make him look wild? I, you got me. Whatever. But I'm just saying, I don't agree with the, the, the I can dress myself shit. When I get 55, I don't want to think about what the fuck I'm wearing. If I got some money, Hell yeah, I'm gonna get me a stylist. Hey man, shit. Go, go I'll pay him every day. Go to the mall to get some shit. Bring me some shit back. Look, I'm, I laid out all this for you. It's a it's a video on Gucci Man page right now. They laid out 19 outfits for him. I went to look for it on his Instagram. His stylist laid out 19 outfits for him. You think he picked that shit? Gucci came out of jail, out of federal prison. He don't know shit about Dior. Before he got locked up, he wearing big ass t-shirts with 1017 on it. That, okay, that stop right there. Let me get. Uh, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> so no, you're, just, you're admitting Gucci couldn't dress before at all. Okay, he needs somebody to help him dress. Fact. Now, so can you dress? Do you think your Instagram do numbers? Do, do do people like your outfits? Yes, I think so. So why the fuck you gonna need help later on, nigga? You're closer to 55 than you are to got them 20. I said, you, I, I said, I said if I had money. If I you had, had the money, nigga. Yeah. So you tell me, you, you, you what, I, you, you what, what you doing right now? That you, the shit you can pick out and buy. I'm gonna break it you're down. You telling me, you're telling me that you don't got complete. enough style yourself. I'm gonna right break now. it completely. Yes, I, I don't because if I had money, I wouldn't be wearing billionaire boy shirts and shit like but that. Right you that. Oh, no, 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 you asked me a question. Let me ask a question. I wouldn't be wearing billionaire boy shirts and shit like that when that shit been over about two or three years ago. I'll be putting on goddamn human race and motherfucking Como de Garcon and shit like that. Yes, I would. I would be wearing t-shirts from Walmart and shit like that if I. Had had money. I know fashion. Okay. Nigga, I just put this shit together because it's on my level. Nigga, I would be goddamn. That's what I would do. Yeah. You, you just make my point. Okay. You don't need a stylist. You just need more money because you already know what you want to go goddamn buy. You got me on that one. Yeah. Quit, tell, quit <laughs> trying to make this shit sound good. Oh, I said, oh, I'm sorry. He Look, this nigga really went to bat for you right that, now. That nigga Method Man just said he got a stylist. He did say real world. Well, look, I just saw Method Man, Raekwon, and Ghostface modeling some fire-ass Tommy Hilfiger shit on a boat. I don't know. They I did a concert. Damn, so we weren't no Tommy Hilfiger. No, nah, but that nigga had the Tommy to white trick. Oh, they was Ray Kwan. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. No, but what, what I was saying They is, didn't pick it up. Nigga, New York niggas be fly. Still, like, that, that ain't I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, typically 55 year old niggas that we see. I understand where he's coming from. And I, I, I still understand where you come from. You think it's funny because I call uh, goddamn food. <laughs> you know? And I understand that. Hey, but man. I know where he's coming from. He ain't trying to burn no bridges because I just went at that nigga. But I didn't go, no, that nigga, get what? The more Lord of the story, you're not gay, none of that. You hit a whole old line. But guess what? You should have fired the gay nigga then. But you be, you put the assumption that gay people don't I know I put the assumption that everybody else it. had out there too. I just I just to say what everybody else said. Now you might not want to say it on camera, but you ask the key key behind camera. I, I'm laughing on I'm camera. I'm just the type of nigga that said say it on I camera because I, I don't give a fuck. Everybody deserves a job. Let me job. tell you what Unk ain't gonna do to me. Let me tell you what Unk ain't gonna do to me. Wait, yeah. gonna do? He ain't gonna put not one of those muscles on me. I got to put the muscles on me. I'm not gonna fool. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna run the face. So I'm not. It's not like I'm telling you I'm sorry because I'm scared of you, Unk. Nothing. I respect you. Not like your show. But I'm not worried about them. What these niggas putting their hand on me, boy? I will put that, boy. No, I'm him. I get you. I'm just. Like, I, 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 only part I'm arguing, like I say, is just shit changing. But yeah, shit, new change. shit changes. Like I say, the one thing you can't argue that some of the shit that we wouldn't do back in the day, we looked at is crazy now. We just do, nigga. Like, I didn't judge you. I didn't judge Greg. I didn't judge Cut. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, nigga, like, when I met Cut, Cut had on hoop earrings. Would I wear that? No. Cut did it. Did I ever say anything to you about it? That what that man want to do? That's on him. Shit, it is what it is. I thought when Michael Jordan used to do it, I was like, what the hell Mike doing with that, with that one damn hoop in his damn ear? Go get both of them. <laughs> I just say that. This ain't no. This ain't. I'm just saying. But that. we got. But we got. But you. But see, I see what you're doing. I see how you're naming the hoof earrings. You know the little cross pop. But see, real zesty shit like putting shit on your fingernails. That that skirt shit. All like it's it's levels to this. Like okay, 
How can I say that? So, it, so it's not as levels. No, no. I'm, I'm saying it's like you're picking the shit that you can think of that like, a real like in your mind. Like, it's about the zestiest thing I can think of the nigga done did. It's one little painting pack. No, I don't think no, no, okay, wrong to I've man. never painted my nails. Niggas ain't patting me on the ass. Niggas, like, zesty is like a whole movement. You, you, you going somewhere. No, nah, but at the end of the day, from Bro. a traditional standpoint, Look. it's just it's just a traditional way of what men don't supposed to be doing and what women don't supposed to be doing. From a traditional standpoint, I see what he's saying. I, I don't even agree oh, with Only on the basic shit. I don't even agree with that. Either you're a man or you ain't. You're going to stand on yeah, something you're or you're not. Man. Bro, I went to fucking Murder Beach Cup, no? I went and got my nails did. Facts. Nigga, man. I'm talking about your nails painted like a color. They, they weren't a color, but they were damn so painted. They were goddamn. Nigga, when they, cl- when they clear on that motherfucker. Oh, the the clear was on that motherfucker. Now, them clear was on there now. So, 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 so the color make me gay. No, I said so. You got a, you got a pedicure, man. Oh, I got my feet done too, huh? Man, what, what nigga? I put my what? Man, nigga, I put my nigga, I put my feet in the goddamn leeches, nigga. And the motherfucker got what? Oh. Well, what went crazy? Hundred and fifty? The, the, the deluxe the motherfucker. Hundred. I said, boy, look here, man. I'm living. I said, I see why them folk go do that shit. Hey. I guarantee you, ain't one of y'all go do it. Y'all hey. gonna be like, boy, that shit. Nigga, that's a spy. Hey. Bro. Nigga, that's a spy hey. day. That, that, that is <laughs> not gay. That's like, go, nigga, you Hello? just went to the spa, nigga. Hey, oh, did, oh, did oh. you have a cup with the pinky out too, nigga? Well, what? <laughs> nigga, I'm doing everything. <laughs> nigga, man, bro. Man, I'm just talking to a bitch. Swear to God, say, so yeah. you need to go to this and that. This. I said, shit, let me go try this shit out. Them folks say, which one you want? I said, man, just do whatever y'all do. Them folks say, okay, we'll give you the deluxe. I said, I'm a deluxe sale. You know what I'm saying? We said, we'll tell you after. I said, my stupid ass said, all right. But that shit came back 150. But them folk put wax on my feet, wrap them bitches up in that heat. I said, boy, do y'all do this every time? She was like, shit, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm folk living, bro. I'm telling you. When was it ever zesty to go to a spa day? Because most niggas do go to spa days with their women. So when, when was yeah, that when ever was, considered when, zesty? When, when we was little now. We don't keep it real. Nigga, we're little. Nigga, we don't know no better. Huh? We're fucking right, little. No, 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 no. And we weren't even thinking about no bullshit like, like that. You no. We ain't never there, talked about no shit like that. Oh, we ain't never walking into a nail park Polish shop. and getting your putting your feet in the water for a nigga. Boy, I don't do that shit. Oh God. No, that, that's oh, facts, dude. Oh, that's facts, dude. Oh, nigga, I'm talking about, bro. Guess yeah, yeah. what? The first time, bro, I was in that motherfucker. Swear to God, my kid bought me a Father's Day thing, right? So I get in that motherfucker feet and she said, "Well, come with your hand, hey, bitch, please." And it took me like four times to go get my feet done, like. To actually let them folk do my fingernails. Cause it felt zesty. It felt like, well, this ain't. Nigga, you gotta sit there with your hand in water. But you, feel, you feel uncomfortable as fuck. Like, it felt zesty to walk into like a, a parlor. Niggas weren't doing, doing, doing that. Niggas weren't doing that. I've never. I, I, I still ain't never did. But I was like, I've never <laughs> thought that was like, oh, this is gay. But all right, I'll ask you a question. What? If you did, if you never seen Tupac or Lil Wayne with a nose ring, would you re- would you still would you, would you still would have put that shit in your nose, bro? Cook, then. Nigga, nigga. would I have? No, that, no, that, no, 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 it's, it's niggas in countries that that's known for wearing dress. Nigga from Florida is known for wearing dress. Nigga, I got earrings on both my hands. That ain't, that ain't, no. When, niggas when, been when rocking earrings. At first, this, this was called gay, wasn't it? What? Okay, let me ask you a question. No, no, this ain't never been a question. Earring in your right was called What? Okay, let me ask you a question. What inspired you to get a nose ring? Because niggas don't get nose rings. That's true. I, no, you want the truth? Yeah. My, my mama would die. Okay. And, and, and three days before she died, I was in Highland, and Jalil said, bro, do what road to? I, and, I, and I was just sitting there, I'm like, man, I just wanted to do something I, I never would do. I, I, I just, have, you, have you ever not known in your lifetime that getting a nose ring was looked at funny? Yes or no? It was how Tupac had one. I said, but it was looked at funny. But that right? goes back to what he was no, saying. Tom, we, no, 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 listen. Tom, no, listen. That goes back to what. Listen, that goes back to what he said. We the picking. Nose was a we picking. No, no, nigga, you two, y'all don't even know. So you, we're no, not. No, 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 that goes back to what he was saying. We that's pick and choose who we want to give it a pass on, but let you just see a regular nigga in that shit. You be like, why he got a nose ring? ring? But when Tupac wore it, it's like, oh, okay, it might be all right. And that was when I was when ago. I was little. I got my ears pierced. I got my I got my ears pierced at eight years old and eight and ten. I got my left ear pierced at eight and my right ear. I thought I had my ears pierced for all y'all niggas. I ain't getting my because my mama money. couldn't afford nothing but my ears to get pierced. So I remember she told me she was like, "You gonna get your left ear pierced because you get your right ear p
Yeah. Plain and simple. And I got my, then I had to convince her two years later to get my right ear pierced. That's different. Well, hell, my mama thought when I came home with, with these both my ear pierced, she's like, now why would you go do some shit like that? That's what my mama them thought. So that's why I say, I'm thinking this if anything, you she would have thought this was zesty, because that's what my mama said. Yeah. I ain't I ain't debating the zesty moments. I'm just saying that we look at shit differently compared as time move on. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I just think once people see somebody that they like. That's, that you that you already made up in your mind. That, oh, I know he ain't gay. Mm-hmm. That, exactly. If they do it, it, it's all right. Ain't Wayne the prototype. I got tattoos. I got dread. I got I got gold teeth. This is everything Wayne has promoted, right? Yeah. Okay. You you got tattoos, right? Yeah. You, you seen somebody else with them, right? That what made you want to get some tattoos, right? Facts. You, you, you got you let your beard grow, right? Yeah. Because you start seeing other niggas with big thick beards. That was fine, right? Yeah. Okay, but that's... everybody picks up something from somebody they like. It just uh, you what you pick. like. I'm a, like, look, I, I can give you an example of something you're not gonna pick up somebody you like. Now, the other day you told me you like Playboy Cardi, mm-hmm. remember? But you seen Playboy Cardi wearing that that onesie. You're not gonna put on a onesie, are you? No. Exactly. So it, it's what you pick and choose to do. What kind of onesie? Well, I go to hell, bro. <laughs> you don't know, see that picture with him. It's like just saying, kind of, you know. I don't, I don't know. know it's, like, it's, like a, it's a girl onesie, nigga. Like he had like a thong onesie. Oh no! Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. like the bodysuit one. Yeah, it like come up like this. Oh, God, yeah. so they make pajamas, nigga. You know? No, no, I'm, no I'm not. But saying. see, that's what I'm saying. No, I had what kind of one? See, I had to clarify that. Yeah. Yeah, what? Some some people might think it, that that's fruity. Uh, uh, Niggas walk around in onesie pajamas. I agree. I'm just I'm just giving you something to think about before we jump that type of gun on these niggas. That's all I'm saying, bro. We literally. I'm not saying you call nobody gay. Now your first statement was gay. Now, no, but I, I, I apologize. Bye, 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 but you, you did, you did. I agree. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, bro. Understand, bro. Life, m- m- the world changes, and these things that we're talking about are literally just garments based on the area of the world that we're in. We go to Scotland, a nigga can wear a kilt and he's not looked at as gay, but because we crossed this water over here, you wear a fucking kilt. That's a dress now, and now you're fucking gay. Nigga, gay is literally an attraction to a male. Greg can go pay his fingers. Greg can go wear a crotch purse. And he can literally, in his mind, know, but now nah, nah, nigga touch me. I'll beat the fuck out this nigga in here. Now, to a nigga from the outside looking in, man, nigga got to be gay. No, look, why though? But, but this nigga here, the biggest killer in here, but nigga yeah. come fuck with him. He just like the accessories that he got on. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. I don't do nothing but what y'all do now. Put on a cross, a cross pouch or whatever the fuck you want to call it, a man purse, merch, whatever the hell, all them different words. And he got out the car and somebody took a picture. Fuck this, 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 I agree with you on the gay nigga sitting beside him. See, that's the only picture I ever coming on. You know, so you've never heard me say nothing about him hopping out the truck or none of that. That ain't never been my the state. That ain't the day. That ain't I, never been your statement. Yeah, I, I've true. never said that about him. But I will say this now. I've never even attacked a real gay person. You never heard me say here in Dog Sausage Santana? Yeah, I, I, ain't, I ain't got nothing to say about the motherfucker that's standing on it and like being for real. Uh, if I say something, it's about a nigga that they trying to bust out the open. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm like not, the pause. The undercover pause. 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 That yeah, sounded pause. crazy. I, I, I don't attack the ones that are actually comfortable in their skin. Because what, 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 what am I picking at you for? Nigga, you being yourself. So, so I want to compliment No, no. I, no so I'm saying. He fired buddy. I'm talking, he, I, he fired buddy. That made it look funny style with me. I agree with you on that. But I, you don't hear me sitting here dragging Elton John. He gave Thug one of his um, songs and talking about Thug was his favorite artist. Like, nigga, you don't hear me sitting here saying about nothing about nobody. Jason Lee, these openly gay motherfuckers, you don't hear me saying nothing about them. It's these undercover brothers. Pause, nigga. That's the only thing I attack. When you're when you, when you trying to be in my face and, lie, and make me think piss ain't shit. So you're doubling down on Unks by? No, I'm not. I'm not doubling down. I said Unks in the never fired, bro. If he didn't want the scrutiny, that's gonna come behind it. Cause I, bro, motherfucker, that's what a motherfucker gonna think. I would just say it. You're not gonna. Or say you're it. gonna say? Cause it. ain't gonna say. Or you're and gonna he's say. smart enough not to say it. He, I just don't care, and I will say it. Well, or you're gonna say he did fire. He ain't gonna fire him, man. All right, let me. All right, let me explain to you why I say that, man. Okay, the man that he hired to be a stylist. Was Kerry Rose of the New York Jets fucking stylist too, or uh, assistant? I only think it was a yeah. stylist. It was an assistant. Assistant, at the time. yeah. But these niggas making videos, laying all in the bed. First of all, ain't no nigga laying in my bed. Shen, Shen, no, no, not, not, not Shannon Sharp. No, Kerry Rose. Kerry Rose. Yeah. He had to look, had little buddy off in the bed. They rubbing his arms up. Just like, okay. okay, now you're with off, and they trying to put that same shit on you. 
But you have the dude right there that they were just in the bed with the boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going by the optics like the shit look funny. But I shouldn't have not called him gay because he, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, he's pound, he was pounding Becky's back in or whoever the fuck that was on the line. You know what I'm saying? He was doing this. Doing nah, this nah, nah, I'll come back and I'll, I'll rebut that too. Because let me say this. Like, not what you say. Mm -hmm. What you saying true. Y'all opinion may be right. He may have did. Look, I don't, because I don't have proof. Now, I, I think my logic was on point saying that who's going to fuck up 200 million. Mm -hmm. But we don't know if that two hundred million was on the table. We're just going by what Shannon said. You see what I'm saying? Now, and G, I say you, you may was right, and Skeet, you may was right. He maybe did do that to rebut the gay shit. My point is, is this shit? I would too if it's bothering me. You see what I'm saying? Well, like, yeah, I mean, like if it's bothering me, I would too. I just think um, if, if, if now I'm not saying that he it didn't happen by mistake. This and that. Cameron them went went live and showed that that it, it's like five steps, bro, to go live. Not even that. I'm gonna tell you something else. Like it, Th this is what hurts wild. me. Okay, this, this, this what really hurts. It like we we bad speak. We got folks want to hear hear what we think. It's, it's going to be some motherfuckers out there that really think the shit that I think, too. So if I sit here and act like, oh, no, nah, I'm just going to play that role. Nigga, that, that, that's, that's not that. I can't, be, I can't do that with them. Like, I'm going to keep it. When I first saw that shit, that's what I thought. But when I get time to think, like, other motherfuckers, like, sometimes you got to overthink, like, and, and realize motherfuckers spend whatever narrative that they want. Look, because I honestly think we would, think about it, we were raised to think that Suge Knight was the boogeyman, bro. Like, Suge Knight, but. He technically they, still was. I'm not saying that he wasn't, but he was when, when we actually go down and if what we was reading was true, that nigga ain't got nothing on that nigga. That nigga methodical genius. Look, look, look. Okay, so just, look, it's me. It, look, it's somebody everywhere that thinks like everybody. That don't mean that you could justify your thoughts by just somebody to believe to believe what you say. Look, here, Charles Manson was a murderer. He he convinced seven to eight. He he convinced some or eight other motherfuckers to go kill uh, uh, Sharon Tate and all them people in that house. Just because they thought like him don't mean that they was right. No, that's why. Hold, hold on, hold on. Adolf Hitler had the whole Reich walking with him, killing Jews because of his thought process. That don't mean that they right. Of course, you can find somebody to think like you. These idiots that got them think like Donald Trump, mean, uh, uh, and they're going to vote for him and everything like that. That don't mean that it's right, or that that, that, that that don't mean that their logic of thinking makes any fucking sense. The internet is only made to make people think. First of all, the whole premise of the internet is only made to make people think how they fucking think. That's what it is. I don't. Well, my thing, my thing is, is that, bro, I can't just go by what people say. Nigga, I just can't do that. I just can't say this is this or this is that. If I see proof, my whole train of thought will change. I just literally sat up here and said last week, because I gave this man hella pushback. You too. It could, he could have been goddamn doing that shit. I could sit up here and come on here and say, that I'm man upset and say, G might have had a point. You too. Shannon might have did stage the, 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 the live. I don't agree with the premise of he staged the lie because he's really gay to prove to people he's not oh, gay. No, That's I'll stupid as that. fuck to me. Yeah. I believe that he staged the lie because it bothers him that people think he's gay. Do yeah. I actually believe he staged the lie? No, personally. But I can see why he would stage the lie once Cameron and them showed that it takes like four or five steps to go fucking live. You can't throw your phone on the bed and then you got to go through this, 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 just to go live. All you got to do is they go on Instagram and then hit your thing. Your, yeah, your no, 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 you don't. You got to go four steps, bro. I seen it. Yeah. To go live, bro. Oh, I ain't never been live. Right, right here on this, right here on this show. I ain't never did live before. Instagram, boom. Click the bottom button, boom. Slide over the story, boom. Three, slide over the reel, boom. Four, slide over the live, <laughs> boom. Live, one. Two, so you three. can't go live. So you just can't go like live. Steps. No, <laughs> hell no. So that's why I say like, oh, see, I ain't know all that. No, see, so you got one click. To yes. Yeah. So, so look, look at bro. I go hard just like you go hard. Pause. That sounded crazy. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but, but my point is that, bro, I don't, bro, I'm not arguing with you to be right. I'm arguing with you for right. So I can sit up and come back on here and tell G and you that's a little crazy. The four or five steps, bro. But do I, I but but but, but, but do I believe the shit of the, of the nigga? Hell no, man. Cause we ain't seen none of this shit about this man being suspect since then. Period. Yeah. And like I say, with the picture shit, this motherfucker sitting up there catching the little, bro. I could do my hand like this for sixteen seconds. Literally, I could do just like this. And somebody catch me doing like this. Yeah. 
Brilliant. Look, guess what I, guess what I am now. See what I'm saying? Right, right, now, right now, somebody for the take this bitch where you blow up, the nigga Shaw was holding the hand like this. I give you an even bigger disclaimer right here. Nigga, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't apologizing to nobody about shit. But I apologize because I understand. Cat Williams said, this will happen to you. And I fed into it. But they did the right. I'm, I'm, but I'm letting him know where he fucked up at. Why he made a nigga like me even believe it. Because you fired the nigga. But any moment that I thought anything sus suspect by uh, because he went ahead and fired the nigga. And I can see that. That, that's see, all I'm saying. But I also can see it be. But I had good. to really overly think and go back to that cat but, with you know what I'm saying? And cat said, You gonna be ready for this? They're gonna come at you every type of way now. But I could also see it being looked at the other way too. I don't Cause, yeah. cause, cause, cause if he didn't fire him, then people would say he gay still. Yeah, so I don't say he couldn't win for losing. Yeah. But I felt like it'd have been the more genuine thing to do to keep the motherfucker on. Though. I don't think I'm going to try to do just pay attention to the bro. That internet is a the internet do not spell nobody, man. That internet is a fool, man. And you gotta Look check at your the, sources. Check too, your man. sources, man. Y'all be sending shit. You click that link, that motherfucker say, ha, joke's on you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like damn, did that, they click this motherfucker? Inner, I got clicked it? Man, I'm telling you, bro, that internet a fool, bro. You'll read the headline and believe that shit. Like the internet is a fool, man. Like, like that's all I'm saying. Like, you gotta just look at that shit. Sometimes anybody can be right about something. Somebody could be, bro. You have you ever argued with a motherfucker about LeBron? Yep. Boy, them folks ain't going. <laughs> Same thing with Jordan. Like, bro, them, I'm t a, a, a Trump supporter. They're not going. You can sit up and say, man, that nigga lied 33 times. Should I be lying too? If goddamn that bitch from India. That bitch is goddamn Indian. That bitch, <laughs> well, th that's how this shit go. Like, the internet is built literally for, you can find into it. Look, look, look. people are stupid. You can find whatever you're looking for. You can find whatever looking. you're looking for. And I'm just, I, I, I genuinely, I swear to God, I try to be objective. Bro, I swear, whenever y'all niggas be right, I know y'all and Silver say I go hard, pause. But whenever y'all be, I usually come back the next episode, Black Boy G, you was right about that. Or uh, Skeet, you was right about that. Or uh, Cup, boy, boy, the folks said, boy, you were talking about the goddamn Marvel shit, and you was talking about them folk, the Deadpool killed all them folk. The next episode, cut, boy, I seen that. But them folk did, goddamn, he did have a goddamn um, uh, 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 a fucking comic book where he had a dream about killing them folk. Yeah. But I'm not going to, bro, I promise you, I, it, I, I don't argue to be right. I argue for right. That's all I do, bro. I swear to God. If you're right, skeet, you're right. I ain't going to sit up and tell you no story, but I just don't fall into that shit. Where they just, where I, it's always a black nigga. Name me a white per what, name me a white one of y'all in here right right now. This this the end the whole shit. We can end the podcast. Name me a white situation. A white man who they try to paint as gay. That that, that that turned out that he say he wasn't gay and everybody just ran with it. I wait. And he wasn't gay? Name me a white man that the media, anybody, said they was gay or they tried to paint them as gay like they're doing Shannon Shaw. And then he came out and said he wasn't gay and we still stayed on it like he was gay. I'ma tell you what, that ain't gonna happen. No, 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 I, no, no. They one first. No, I, I was saying, I don't know one that I can think of. Okay, you won't tell it's only the black man. It doesn't matter to white men. That's my it, point. It, it only matters to black people. So, look, I understand what you're saying. Look, that's why I said, let me, I said, hold on, let me go ahead and apologize because uh, I know what cousins do. He's trying to overly make me see because it's going, he knows there's some niggas out there that'll that listen to the shit that I say and really, that's why I had to say, I had to overly, I had to go back, look at the goddamn Cat Williams thing and really think to myself. This shit only happened once he did the whoop the wop wham to goddamn what's called that. Yeah, yeah. So I under, like I wholeheartedly understand like okay that would they that would they move on him because the niggas that we know is getting their back beat there. They they just now saying about, saying shit about well, be, getting their back beat in is correct. Because <laughs> <laughs> these niggas feel like they getting their back beat in. That's why I told I'm sorry because like you, that's not you. But you the slick, niggas huh? you slick called Uncle Bottom. But he was with. a bottom. I was a bottom for a day or two. I was a bottom for a week. I can be a bottom for a week, man. Yo, you you went hard, bro. You, you remember when Alt was talking about some one gorilla, however many pounds, yeah, two yeah. gorilla, however many pounds. He, he put gorillas up there. He didn't put bullets. Let's leave it at that. Now I don't think <laughs> that. Quit that. Quit that. He was big. He wanted to dig Uncle that hole. He was big. He wants me to get back on Uncle. Nah, he was big. Pressing niggas, man. Uncle say he leave all. He borrowed that jacket right now. Uncle say he leave all that strong shit in the gym. Your ass get that. Uncle was big. Pressing niggas, man. He was big. Pressing them niggas, man. He grabbed that five. Ain't get what. Oh, so you call him out his character, man. He grabbed hey, that five, man. He ain't trying hey, to ball. I think, I think we got everything. Y'all, everybody else got to think up, man. That shit was hell fun. December 12th through the 15th. What happened what, what happened now? Anime weekend in Atlanta. Okay. Cool, okay. cool. Oh, I'm going to be there? 
I hope not, man. That man gonna fire your ass up, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, you be dressed yeah, like a Ninja Turtle or something. Hey, nah, I, yeah, real quick before we go, though, I do. The white nigga be do be gay, though. I huh. think, I, look here, man, for Vince Man, that shit, I send the paper. I, I'm gonna get up, yeah. we're gonna get up out on that. That shit, the paper with Vince Man, bro. Like, like, calling, having, having wrestling figures nicknamed the wrestlers and shit, and having them fuck other wrestler figures as dudes and shit like that, allegedly. That's, that's, that's. Not even. That's a fan. You're fantasizing about other men fucking other men. Like that's a, that's a that that to me, Jerry Jones knowing the inch size of these niggas dicks and shit. I don't think I'll argue with you about that shit on with the Jamie Foxx shit. Is. I don't know if he had nothing to do with it. Well, no, I don't even want to get on Jamie Foxx. Let's get on this. Put one of y'all niggas out there pulling y'all dick out for this man to measure it. Okay, so, so let's get some straight ski because I know you ain't, we ain't never been in the NFL locker room. You do know they walk around just naked in that motherfucker. Right? But who the fuck? So you know, he's eyeballing niggas' dicks? He's the owner. He owns the fucking stadium. No, you ain't not. But you, you, you're skating over what I'm saying. Yeah. This nigga in there eyeballing nigga dicks. Obviously, that's what he said. Who ain't, why, ain't, why, why his old ass ain't been slapped? Wait, 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 wait a minute now. Wait, wait, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Hold on. I want to get something completely straight. <laughs> real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to get something completely straight. <laughs> You argue with me like I disagree with you on this. I said Jerry Jones is, is like the boys. Said, that what he said. I said he like the boys. I'm just sitting up here telling you that that's what's going in the locker room. They walk around. Nigga, we playing high school. Yeah, but well, get what? I ain't never Y'all seen Coach. I, I never seen Daniel Craig. If you didn't walk around with you, if you didn't walk yeah, around in the locker room yeah. like that, shit, nigga, you yeah. was scared and nigga got a little dick on <laughs> Pause. Guess Pause. what? I never yeah. seen Danny Crane pull out the measuring tape, cuz. You never seen who? He only had the measure tape out on the field, but that shit was never in the locker room. Man. <laughs> Wait, really? Like, I just don't, hey. He never had the measure tape in the locker room, bro. But see, then, I, but then, this, Yo, but then, 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 what? And these niggas knew better than coming out with it. So, so Jerry got the measuring tape out in, in the locker room. Hey, Jerry measuring dicks, man. He's worrying about dicks. But now that nigga walking around in the hallway. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> boy, I never walk in one of them motherfuckers behind. <laughs> hey. What nigga carry on like that, boy? Hey, man. That, that, that dick swinging naked. Hey, man, I'm telling you, man. You know what I'm saying? Boy, man, no, boy. He ain't no. look at nobody. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. That, 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 it's like when you go to jail. I ain't never had to get in the. No, hey. Hey. <laughs> Now look, that man ain't gonna get that far in my organized career. But now, don't put none of this what I'm gonna say right now in this cuz. This is gonna, this is good. This will be we'll real. Say for the camera now, cause it'll be some good. Now we we'll go ahead and leave this shit in here, boy. Hey man, we knew the playmaker got down, right? Oh uh, yeah. Playmaker stayed on that cocaine, right? Michael Irvin, yeah. But he had a job at all at all time, then. Yeah. All right then. <laughs> say he would do a something. Shit. What, what he say? Hey man, Skip said he knew something about somebody on that team too. And Skip yeah, almost got folded up behind. Yeah. Yeah. Nana, the, the head man. Oh. Talking about hey. how big nigga dicks is. He ain't worried about can you throw hey, the ball? Nigga, can you catch it? Hey, that nigga Jerry called him out too, boy. That nigga Jerry called him out, boy. And he, he said, said that shit. <laughs> no, look, look. Five ten. <laughs> Hey, I'm swung. Hey, hey James for swing. Nine three. Yeah, nine. Said, look, he said like five ten. Hey, man, James said, bro, what the fuck? Two ten. <laughs> James just sitting there smiling like, yo, but he got these flips. I'm talking about some two ten. Run a four three. Got an eight inch and nine mat made her day. <laughs> yes, a big one. James. James, <laughs> James started trying to cut that shit off, man. Hey, now, man. like that situation, like that's just wild, bro. That's that plantation mindset, right? That's just wild. Like I said, I don't put that on Jamie because somebody old like Vince McMahon was on that same shit. You know what I'm saying? Like them niggas, that shit, that's some gay shit to me. But see, that, that you know what? That, that also show me nobody ain't never punched their ass up. The only person I'm beat up Vince McMahon is, is Bret Hart. Most uh, these other niggas need to start off with these motherfuckers. Ass. A lot of shit is only done because it's allowed. That's true. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, quit being so soft out here, man. Y'all niggas start punching these nigga doing y'all like that. Or maybe, nigga, just be, accept who you already are. Because that, that's another thing. Hey, man. They didn't want taking no booty from the boy. They were taking his booty. So, who, 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 who? so you got to think about that now. You said who, now, who? Diddy, he ain't take no, but no, none of them nigga booty from where. But you understand, Diddy he just was getting pounded. He just mad, huh? He, he made buddy get some head. Man, that one time. But we know for a fact, from, but we allegedly... Time. I mean, I was just saying. I mean, it's all wrong. Yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But what I'm saying is, once. you can get away if you're the one pounding the nigga. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He ain't pounding you. You pounding him. So what the hell? What's really going on? 
That looks a whole bunch of pounds. Pause, man. please. Pause. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this, this much, see, my nigga this much talk about nigga pounding, but we got to get up off this yeah, shit. Yeah, man. This shit getting wild out here. That's, <laughs> a, that's even more the problem right now. We should not be talking about this shit. This shit should, we got to talk about this shit should not even be topics. It's the biggest shit in the world. It's, that's yeah. the problem. That's the main fucking problem. Something negative about a goofy ass nigga like Diddy is the most pop, popular shit in the world right now. Dolphin. We can't wait to see Diddy sit there and Nino Brown all them niggas. I thought he gonna send some everybody. Or they gonna or get what? Unless if, they already if, got the information. No, if them. Diddy don't tell on you and you a man, but you come and tell on Diddy, you the then I know you do that shit. So don't get your goofy ass on that time. You want to uh, protect people. You don't want no, don't nobody should go through it. Nigga, if you was at them parties and you participated, you you freaky and zesty. And I'm going to say them niggas is gay. If they, if they was up in the room with that boy, Puff Diddy, they, they were on top. They was on top of them. And that shit didn't work. They was on top of them? They was on top of Diddy, man. Hey, man, any nigga who get up their ass up on that stand and you, and you go to do it like this, you did something with Diddy, man. Yeah, we I, I, like like it's, it's something go, everything will come out, bro. Ain't nothing they Man, can do make about. Make sure y'all go home and read that book. Cause they get what you gonna come here with a new respect. Yeah, that, that shit that was crazy. That shit wild, wow, bro. Yeah, that shit. And bro, when you the, really the that, one about the the X X X, that hurt my heart right there. I hope that ain't who I think it is. And I don't mean to toss it on, nigga. I got now. Uh, hey man, that was an amazing episode. I ain't even mad at that one, man, cause we went crazy just there. I'm gonna catch hell editing this shit, cause God. Wait, it might be a long one. Too faulty, boy. And cooking. Yeah, still cooking. But hey, it is your boy Shard, man. It's cool, boy. G. It's your favorite cup in the kitchen. It's that guy straighter than an arrow skeet. <laughs> <laughs> Here we out, man.